Hey, YouTube, welcome back to Sea of Stars. In this episode, you're in for a tearjerker. See the chapters down below. A lot of big story moments happen in this episode, and it uh, it hits. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't. Check twitch.tv slash beardonfire if you want to see us live. Love to see you there. Let's get to the game. Everybody should be well rested. To the Autumn Hills. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's definitely gotten to that point where it's like, ooh, I gotta... I gotta dig around for some clean underwear, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I've got, like, some clean laundry that I also haven't folded because I'm a degenerate. So you just, you sift through the pile until you find the clean bits, and then you, you know, you tell yourself you're going to fold that sometime later. Ooh, you guys are fun looking. Let's go. What do we got? What are you, a talk? I don't know, it just seems like with so many fucking spikes, it should have a, it should have a more interesting name than a talk. Are you weak versus moon? You want to talk about it? No. Oh, yeah, we got this new party member. This is the alchemist in the flesh. I forget. He has some new abilities that I don't really know. So he's got an ultimate attack that does poison. That's fun. You can heal the party with Soothing Mist. Remove a random lock. Arcane damage while pulling enemies together. Interesting. Oh, I don't know how to time that. No idea. Hey, stop picking up my new party member. He just joined. We want to have a good impression, you shits. Kind of digging the music in this spot. A lot of boxes around here. This place, this place feels very like lived in. Probably by bandits. Oak and armor. Done. Did I not actually equip it? There we go. So today we're just going to kind of... Uh, we're going to focus on playing through the game. We're going to get progress done. So we're going main story. We're not going to grind. We're not going to do side missions and stuff. I did play off stream a little bit the other day just to uh, get mushrooms. We grinded for mushrooms. So I went back to the Stonemason outpost, which is like the second town that we ever did. And I remember the cave there had a bunch of mushrooms. So I kind of checked that out. I did end up doing some like very minor lore slash story related stuff. I found like the painter guy, there's a mole that lived in the stonemason's outpost that wanted to see, uh, like paint somebody. And there was a model in Brisk that I connected him with. And I think that was the only thing that I ended up doing. All right, back to the game. Right on, Rocco. Catch you later, man. Fallbeard stream is a go. Completely opposite reality. Hello? Can we just jump? Can't just jump off this? That's weird. I totally forgot that you could launch that into climbable surfaces. Thanks for the lurk, Rocco. All 
right, so we got the sunshine lever. Let's get the moonshine lever. Moonshine lever for moonshine lovers, am I right? Maybe. Okay, well, I guess we should hit the lever. What the hell? Too much bush. Trim the bush. It's life advice right there. Valir and Rashan learned combo skill Arcane Moons. All right. That sounds awesome. These little guys, what are they called? What are you called? A grass assin. It's a grass assin. Oh, I love it. That's so good. I live for the puns. Live for it. That doesn't seem good. How dare you use balls against me? Balls are my thing. Oh, that's right. This is bad. Can we do a combo? No? No? Let's do a little heal. We need just a little bit of healing. A little bit of healing for old Rashawn. You fucking Nate the dog on fire with clips today. Stab, stab, stab. Yes. You guys are so good at stabbing. Okay, let's see this new new combo ability. Oh shit, okay. That was sick. All right. All about it. All about that move. We can do that more. I'd be totally cool with that. Hey, what's up, human person? Randomly here? Some people say this is a bad spot for a shop, but I bet others will follow in my tracks. I bet you're wrong and you will die down here. Ooh, peach strudel. I'll buy one of those. I can't afford it. Music sheet. We need to sell some things. Okay, we have more old armor to sell. There, one of those, one of those. Yeah, how about two of those? There, now I've got enough. How dare you call me poor after I walk into your shop and start throwing down all my cash. Rude as hell. That's a weird spot for a shop, like legitimately. I wonder why the devs were like, you know what? We should put a shop here. How are we gonna explain that lore-wise? I don't know, let's just pretend like the guy's an idiot. <laughs> Great. The ladder like I always wanted. Well, that last jump was lame. Oh, what's down there? So we can do a little Zale action on the talk. Get TikToked, motherfucker. You try to ban me in the United States, see what happens. Oh, I didn't realize all my guys were almost dead. We should definitely do something about this. He's not good. Uh-oh.
Petrichor does Soothing Mist heals the whole party. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Nice. Let's do this Arcane Moons. That seemed pretty sick before. Get blocked. Not enough. I didn't know he could hit multiple. What? What just happened? That was amazing. Oh, that sucks. Thought we had that for sure. Let's see. Live for that nourishment. Live for it. There it is. There it is right there. Ooh, we have so many characters to level up now. Yeah, we do could do an extra magic point. We could also get our resistances up. Because we are we are taking some damage lately. Magic defense, yep. Magic defense is 82. Damn. He has some really expensive skills. Let's get MP up. Sales a little on the weaker side. Just a little bit. Yeah, how do we get that chest? Hello. that and we thought maybe we would hit another one in midair okay I'm missing something is there a lever is there a lever somewhere game because that's what it always seems to be it always seems to be a fucking lever that I missed this time maybe not Ooh! For Sean with the upgrade. Papaya. So much maple. I'm glad I spent all that money buying maple syrup when it's everywhere here. For free. Can we jump up here? Aha! What the fuck? There we go. 
Why? I see it now. I see it now, chat. Everybody chill the fuck out. Took me a second, but I see it. Conch. something not sorry roach across the dairy know all about those roach across the dairies all right we got some more locks to break Poison combo attack that we can do. Come on now. That was pretty sick. I hate these little rolly guys, honestly. Okay, any enemies going? No. Skills is too a little disorient. that guy. Get blocked. All the enemies here are so fast. I kind of hate it. a little worried there about actually breaking that lock. Just a little bit worried. Hey, we swim. Not what I expected. Look at us traversing all these different terrains. A parfait? Here's KO plus 75% HP. Wait, what was the description? It's all in the name. Let's go. All right. Like I said, guys, we're just going through the game. We're pushing lore. We're pushing story. We're getting the main objectives done. We're not messing around anymore.
No level grind today. We will fuck around looking for treasure chests, though. If there's a treasure chest, seems like we should get it. We're gonna fuck around and get that. Like, cause that's... I can't help myself, right? I'm only a man. A hundred. That was a lot of damage. Cool. My blocking has sucked absolute balls this whole fucking time. A little upset by it. Eat a salad. Hmm. That was all. It, yeah. All I wanted was a freebie, and I paid for it with those valuable fucking seconds of my life that I'll never get back again. What is this? It has blades on it. I hope we can knock that down and chop something. I want to chop something, guys. Chop, chop. Get fucked. We gotta get some points for old Garl here. Just so nobody dies. Collect all day and all night. It's the best IRL skill that I've ever applied to video games. That was a deep cut, guys. If you didn't get it, you might be kind of dumb. For everyone? No. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Oh, come on.
or E7. It's gonna be, guys. We got a sexy combo lined up. Suck in the balls, go for the combo. Wasn't my best combo. <laughs> Wasn't my best combo. Okay. Can we take them down with one Moonerang? Maybe. Clockwork keep. We have to cook so many more meals. Okay. So let's do two of these just so we can bring somebody back from the dead. Kinda important. Let's do it. Moon cradle fish pies. We'll do four of the four? Ooh, is that too many? Let's do three of those. Troll Hunter, hello! Have you been doing? Been a few days. Hope you're having a good one. Uh, all right, let's do two of these and we'll do one Crustad. Pumpkin straight up orange today. Ooh. See, look, and it's orange background too. It's perfect. One of these. One for the Holy Festival. All right. What's the festival all about, though? What's it all about? Uh. Don't walk in there. Don't walk in there. I didn't. I didn't want to walk in. I just wanted to touch it. All I want to do is touch it. I didn't save, guys. We cannot die in this fight. Dude, don't make me nervous, weird. Lordist. Strolling minstrel. When the moon shines bright on autumn sheaves comes forth the abomination of roots and leaves. All right, cool. Can I fucking go back and save the game? We did this before. We wasted a bunch of time in Moon Cradle. We did one of these puzzles. Festival of Colors, who play with colors and eat a lot of food, and that's about it. Nice. Oh, is it one where, like, you have, uh... Are there, like, parades and stuff, like, on the street? With, like, I don't know, I'm thinking, like, colored dust and, like, paints and stuff? I don't know, like, I'm imagining photos that I've seen with, like, a lot of, like, fucking colored dust all up in the air. It seemed like everybody was having a good time. All right. Well, we got scary music. This is a boss fight. Let's do this. Did we make one of these in Moon Cradle without realizing it? Did we just doom that town? Please, don't be deal. Yeah, we do parades with that colored dust. 
That's called Glal, by the way. Okay, right on. Aren't there loads of bonfires around the city, too? Yeah. Eh. Oh, you're not talking to me. I thought you were talking about Moon Cradle, and I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure there are. Uh-oh. Pain Cone? Hasn't got me yet. Okay, let's switch you out for you. Just disorient, because disorient is awesome. How do we not have a combo? Come on. Let's see what we get here. On Holy Eve, it happened last night. Ah, uh, word. Throw leaves. Okay, let's see if we can get any poison damage on this dude. It's you and your family. Oh, that was nice. What was that? Get broken. Hmm. We don't need you in the party, man. Not yet. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Nope. Oh, let's swap for this dude. He has uh, an ultimate that we haven't seen before. Let's go. It hits all of us. The Great Eagle. What? Are you trying to say you are the Great Eagle? Okay, spoiler. Sick. All right, so if an attack includes any physical damage at all, it doesn't work. Good to know. Hunter, how long is the holy festival? Yeah, I finally put together what's going on with his leaves. That took me way too long. Some places go for a full week. Not everywhere that does, though. Just depends on the town that you're in. Hmm. Well, that's not happening. Hit it. In your hometown only for a couple of days. Okay. 
Why is he flashing? Okay, we've never seen an enemy do this before, so it's kind of uh, freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, Garl's got some skill points. Cooker Surprise did no damage. I don't think Cooker Surprise did anything. But he has a lot of HP, so let's keep him in. Keep it going, throw some leaves. I don't really have anybody with skills that I want to use right now. Just poison up and see if this does anything. Oh, apparently that didn't. Defeat the leaf monster. Ooh. Great success. Let's save the game. Good God. Oh, I don't know what's up with the Piper here. Who summoned that guy? Don't forget to pluck your berries every morning. Oh, shit. This is going to be a hard fight if we fight Brugavis. 20 years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. Come on, Brugavis! We're going to miss them if you don't hurry! <laughs> huff, huff. Wait for me! The rule today, don't be mad, it's holy. <laughs> That's funny. Is that like... <laughs> oh, Moraine. Silver Fox. We're too late. I wanted to see the headmistress in her battle gear. How did she look? As fabulous as ever. Oh, the battle mistress. Who's this? How long is the cleansing? Maybe we can catch her when everyone returns. I'm not going to do the high-pitched voice anymore. It's done. You just might. I guess we can still do his voice. Today's cleansing will be performed by the biggest group to ever take down a dweller. You can expect a swift return. Maybe we should just sit here then, huh? Huh. Don't forget to do your chores now. Hmm? Oh, come on. We don't even get a break for the eclipse. Not if you want the twins to play with you later. Fine. <laughs> be good now. Dude, my accents are not consistent at all. They are not consistent. No lie. Especially if I take two days off and like a character doesn't talk in one of the episodes. Fucking gone, dude. It's gone. I like using the, uh, the suspicious emoji, though. You mean you don't always feel it? The tingling? No, this is new. It's only consistent with the Valley Girl. It's consistent with a couple more characters. Thank you very fucking much. All right. Yeah, we got some new emotes. Placeholders for the most part, but still. Fill them bad boys up. Lovely Rose, hello. I wish I could see headdress, Headmistress Moya. Moyara fighting. Moya, Moyara. I bet she takes down the Dweller on her own. Boo. She could, but the twins have to do some spins and flips and bind their weapons like they showed us. Who are the twins? Right. Oh, they must be dead. 
Everybody who went to this fight died. Yeah, you got a few new emotes. Nice. I was telling a badass lady gamer, I like the mace because it looks like a dick. <laughs> it's funny. No more Eclipse. They must be on their way back now. Hey, so when we grow up, will we have to fight big monsters too? That's the plan for us, just like everyone else born on a solstice. Doesn't that scare you? Not really. It's not like we will be alone. Except. Except. And no matter what happens, I will always protect you. You know that, right? Gavis. Fine, you sleep. I'll keep watch. Mm. A few hours later. Mm. I was the rest of Valorant the other day. Lovely, lovely Rose. I was chilling in chat while I was working on emotes, actually. It was literally what I was doing. They have returned! Wait. Help! Moraine is gravely hurt! Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. The only one to return. And then he retired. And only Moraine survived. It will take him a while to heal, too, by the looks of it. At least the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. But we lost so many. Moyara and the twins. Moraine will never be the same again. Oh, did you get some booty motes? I saw the booty conversation happening. Heck yeah. I I uh I settled with a corgi booty. It was just gonna have to be good enough. Hey, does that mean he's the headmaster now? Who else? There's literally nobody. There's the one, but I'm waiting for another to be verified. Nice. A few months later at Zenith Academy. Focus, Brugavis. You will never become strong enough if you don't develop your innate magic. <clears throat> I'm trying. And try harder. You're way too slow. Hey, how about a bit of patience? Do not interfere. <laughs> <coughs> or what? Alina! That will be all for today. <clears throat> Grumpy old man. Sentinels won the grand finale. Nice. Oh, I'm slacking on the voice acting right now. I'm not going to lie. These guys have their own accents, but they're kids, so I don't care. And the old man, like, we went, like, probably six to seven hours of not talking to him at all, and then I totally forgot what his voice was, so it's just kind of slapped together. Troll Hunter over here is trying to call me out for it. Move the platform now, so maybe I can also open the Forbidden Cavern. Sure beats staying here. Okay, so this is the backstory of why these guys are all jaded and they turned fucking evil. And he always wanted to be like Moyara. Over 20 Solstice Warriors died that day, and what? We just move on? I was dumb. I don't want to be a hero anymore. I never wanted to be one. 
And no matter what I do, Moraine always says I'm not fast enough. I just feel awful. I know, Grigabis. If there's a way out, I'll find it for us. Well, I'm cold. And I'm hungry. We're helpless. All right, let's go back. Back to learning magic. Yay. Oh, these two. Oh, no. Later that year at the Winter Solstice Festival. Look, the Great Eagle! A new child of the solstice is born. Read the name. Valir. Welcome, Valir. May Luana's might protect you. May Luana's might protect you. May Luana's might protect you all. Six months later at the summer solstice festival. Ah, fuck, another baby. Look out. Hit the deck. This is a fucking baby grenade. You're all dead. Zale! Welcome, Zale. May Solon's light guide you. May Solon's light guide you. A few years later. <laughs> now we're talking. Keep it up, Valir. Yeah! Hey, the snacks are ready. Oh, are you two joining us? There's plenty for everyone, but I'm not sure we can show you our secret hideout. No time. We have to report to the headmaster. Okay, but please don't look which way we're going. Last one there does the dishes. We're getting a little, uh, we're getting a little flashback from Rugavis's position. We should leave now. Our next meeting is today dusk. Right. Ooh. Ooh. This is an evil meeting. Yeah. Yeah, this is when they're... Doing deals with the baddies. So you're willing to hear us out this time? You'd rather do without the burden of the solstice warrior life, yes? A fresh start, perhaps? What exactly are you offering? I see that that was some time travel thing. Hey, we time travel's in the picture right now. We've got a weird time magician on our team now. A way out. We believe you will deem our terms interesting. Interesting and fruitful, too. Then speak up. A while later. We will handle everything else, but only solstice warriors can conjure a blood moon. But this world would be destroyed. Not before you got to leave it for a more favorable one. Can you guarantee Brugavis will be safe? Erlina, I... Naturally, we even have ways to make you forget, if that is your wish. Forget becomes stronger, too. So, what will it be? Gonna dip for a bit. Later! Dweller of Woe isn't that powerful. You know we can take it. Of course. But other one... Thanks for them bits! Peace, Nate the Duck. Of course, but that other one knows about in the mountain that wipes memories. What the fuck? But that other one no one knows about in a mountain that wipes memories? It's been growing for a long time. 
Ah, that one, yeah. The Acolytes could be bluffing. Not given the knowledge they had of the Matriarch, plus it explains the seal. Can't you see this world is doomed regardless? Moraine never stopped being a mess, and the kids are way too young to be of any help. I can't accept leaving Valir and Zale behind to die like this. We will add a condition that they can go and live with you. Wouldn't you like that? What if they refuse? The Acolytes need us for the Blood Moon. They'll have no choice but to accept. Not them, I meant... Hey, wait! Let's pretend for now. We'll talk later. Yep, this is when we met up them with, with him before. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Yep. Little did we know, the baddies were doing baddie stuff all along. Valir, Zale, please understand. Please accept. I don't think so, buddy, bucko. Okay, chat, just give me two fish, okay? Two fish, perhaps three, if we're missing three. Yeah, see, we're missing three. We're just going to catch three fish. That's all. That's all. We got this. No problem. No problem. No problem. Jump, crab. Jump. I dare ya. I dare ya. Caught a clockwork crab. Whoa. All right. You're a speedy one. Damn. Okay. We got a swordfish. I think we've gotten one of these before. Okay, so we need to catch the starfish. Get wrecked. Every time he jumps, like if you do, if you time an X press during that time, then they, uh, they get KO'd. Yeah, cause this is how you catch starfish. Makes so much sense. Yeah, fishy, fishy. A ninja starfish. Okay. Okay. Song Shroom Marsh. The shrooms are singing songs means you're having a good time. never knew until recently like how easy mushrooms are to grow <laughs> they're so incredibly easy to grow okay so you guys are just playing catch that means we should be all cool with each other right yeah 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 no big deal we're not fighting we're cool you guys are just there having a good time now you guys seem suspicious Shroom crab hat knights. That made sense. Never seen someone this orange. You're having a literal festival of colors right now. You've never seen somebody this orange? I'm orange as hell. But I can't be the most orange. Like, they gotta step up their orange game. Okay, what's gonna be? Phase shift? 
Sure. Alright, looks like we're getting shivved again. Fungus spike. <laughs> yeah, let's do an item roulette, why not? Go. Time. What did that do? Nothing? Awesome. Did absolutely nothing. And get the wrecked. Get to the wrecked. Get to the wrecked. I want that chest. Oh yeah, I want that chest before we move on. Leaf cape. Brimming with ancient magic. Anybody else wear a thalassic cloak? That pearlescent apron seems pretty garl specific. Alright, let's walk back by these two dudes playing catch. There's another path that we could take up north. Probably has a treasure chest. And then we'll swing back down and continue on with the story. Yeah, what's up here? Oh, a safe spot. Perfect. You guys like the new uh, Beanies channel points? Everything that I try to do for the stream takes like a lot longer than I expect. That ended up taking like an hour. Uh, worth it for the Beanies, clearly. Little did he know, those little catching turtles were worth more XP than any other monster in the entire game. Waiting for the beanie merch. Dude, custom beanies sound sick as hell. I mean, it's, it's pretty, like, obvious I should do it, right? All right, grapple spot. Let's make our way back up to that. Boo. Shield it. Oh, oh. Blocked. Dude, I... Oh. Do these guys drop mushrooms? Have they been dropping mushrooms the whole time and I just didn't notice? Because that would be amazing. You resist, huh? I don't like that at all. This guy's in their fungus spikes, I swear. We are getting mushrooms from them. Hell yeah. I'm so disappointed that I spent so much time grinding mushrooms. But they're just so easy to get.
Zoom. Zoom again. Bumpkin, hello. Uh, not to flex on you immediately, but you're pumpkin, but look how orange I am. Gonna do about it. <laughs> also, how are you? <laughs> okay, boss fight? Question mark? Hey, we were supposed to fight. Come on back now. Did we not rest at the campfire? We just cooked one thing and walked away and didn't save or anything. Dude, I fucking rock at this game. So hard. So hard. Eh, thanks. <laughs> Shit. The blocks are not going good today. The blocks are not going good. You know what, maybe we just triple it up. Triple boost. Maybe take this guy down. Maybe not. Okay, let's swap with this dude. He's got a skill. It pulls everybody together. Just gotta get the gang together. Then we can do some major AoE attacks. Okay, let's get Zale in here. Can't do it yet, but we'll get a little uh, little solar going on here in a sec. Mm -hmm. The shrooms, guys. No, they're making the mushroom seem very, like, not nice. Mushrooms are great. I love mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, they don't care about poison at all, though. Noted. Noted. I'm doing good. Had a good weekend. My wife's in a play, so we saw that. I saw it a couple times because we had family coming like two different days. And I'll end up seeing it two more times this week too. So I'm gonna see this play a lot of times. Let's do this, let's do that again. Uh, pull them together, yep. So yeah, solid. The weather's starting to get better. I'm in Washington, so Pacific Northwest, United States, and it is so rainy during the winter time, and I'm glad that, that part of the day, or part of the, uh, the year is over, or getting there at least. It's too much. The rain is too much. What I've found, like, when the weather's good, it's so much easier for me to, like, go and work out and go on walks after stream and, like, you know, just generally be, like, healthier <laughs> in my day-to-day -day life. Not so much during the winter time. Okay, Arcane Moon sucks. Let's get him out of here. Get out of here.
Here we go. Just land it. Yeah, I'd say so the sunshine comes out. I'm, I'm feeling good. The sunshine comes. I'm in a good place. I guess we can go up or down, maybe. Here we go. Hmm. How do I get to that switch? It looks like there's a little like shimmy spot right here, but maybe that just doesn't work. Can we grapple onto that switch? Let's see. No. Okay, let's jump down. The funsies. Okay, carrying on. What do you think? Do we have a big mushroom boss at the end of this whole thing? There we go. How do we get up to you? Ah. We'll need to jump down to this hole a few more times. Okay, climb now. And we have a path there. Now we can get to the switch. That was so worth it. Spirit of Ninja. Okay, so whenever you equip one of these like gold bangle items, whatever thing it gives you, it gives it to your entire team. So combo points build 10% faster for literally everyone. So every attack from now on, 10% faster. And that is very tight. Very, very tight. Okay. Pumpkin, you started watching this stream during Outer Wilds, right? Still watching a lot of Outer, Outer Wilds streams? I've been meaning to get back in there and like see some other people play through. Looks like this big mushroom should react to the time of day. Sure enough. Looks like a nighttime shroom to me. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what do we have here, though? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh, they're bouncy mushrooms. I'm all about that. Okay. So we've got a time of day crystal over here. Hey, are we cool? Hey! Fung toys. Dude, we were super cool with the fung toys before. They were chilling. We were all having a good time. And suddenly everything changed. All right, guys. Let's do an abeyance, just so we can get some extra combo points. Spin tackle. This sounds bad. Not the worst. Mirror attack sucks. We're all very hurt. Oh, I know what those arrows mean, is they always re-up their timer. So like, if they don't have an arrow above that little clock thing, above their nameplate, right there. You see it? If they don't have an arrow, it means at the end of the enemy's turns, like they wait until all of my turns are done before they restart the timer. But with the arrows, they just keep going. Which kind of sucks for me. Yeah, let's Solstice Strike. 
right there. Thought you were gonna be dead. Gonna have to nourish Valir. <clears throat> Our HP is not in a good place, guys. It's not a good place right now. We'll take care of that, though. No big deal. Kind of fucked on the hit blocking lately. Right, that's something. Juked me. There. Solstice Strike took him out even though he was resistant. Noted the turtles are resistant to Solstice Strikes. Let's just end it. We'll heal between fights. Cradle fish pie too, just get everybody healed up and MP across the board. What a weird variety of food we get in this place. Okay. Hmm. Do we bounce here? Nope. We don't bounce across these ones. Need to make it nighttime. Sick. Dude, I hate fighting these guys that are like super fast. Really annoys me. Okay, fungus spike. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. Ooh. Alright, chat. It's going to be a giant mushroom crab boss, right? Like, that's what this area has to have. It's either that or Brugavis. Like, one of those two. It's either Brugavis or giant mushroom crab boss. My money's on Giant Mushroom Crab Boss, and Brugavis comes a little later. I'm going to win one of these bets one of these days. Oh, good. been a like long and cursed walk did i say cursed cursed i did Just open sesame no fine i'll go find your item look at how happy these shrooms are they're just singing having a good time A little, little swamp hut. Shrek, we're gonna be Shrek, you guys. Go away. Do you think someone lives here? I mean, yeah, girl. Oh. Okay, well. I just lost a bet. I thought 
Sarai was Yomara. She's not. I'm Yomara, a simple hermit. Yeah, we've already met your sister. Please, there's no need for that tone. Ramaya's evil ways are precisely that. Ramaya's. I am but a neutral observer in this world, in the affairs of this world. You're a seer, aren't you? Does that mean we're getting a prophecy again? Why, if it ain't the warrior cook. I have been expecting you. Please, get a fruit for my tree. Really? Don't mind if I do. All right, girl. Just one now. The taste is unbelievable. What are they called? Pears. Well, I would never use pears for cooking. They're perfect just the way they are. Carl is the chosen one. Huh? Being a seer has its perks, like knowing who is capable of fully appreciating a fresh pear. <laughs> so... That's it? Yes, the threads of fate seldom speak to me about the near future. I only deal in the cataloging of grander arcs. My apologies, but I have no insights for you. Oh, until now, you. You are. Cold breeze is rising. Why don't you come in for a little bit? Hmm. Alright, I'm half assing Granny's voice, I'm not gonna lie. Now, which volume was it? Probably somewhere with my older work. The spirit that will carry the night. I was really overthinking titles back then. <laughs> I will fear. No. No. Oh, that's why I put Ovate to the Seasons. Ah, there it is. Ethereal Occurrences, Volume 2. Let's see here. Hmm. Ah, yes, I remember now. Another prophecy. This is exciting. Um, immortal alchemist, step forward. He's been called out by just about everybody we talked to. Fuck, dude. What is it? Excuse me? You can fancy yourself a god if you like, but you remain bound by fate all the same. Now, listen up. During your travels with these young adventurers, you will meet the dead of a forgotten race. Among them will be one asking to fight alongside solstice warriors. Be welcoming. For this entity's unbreakable will is the key to achieving the one great feat of alchemy that eludes you still. <clears throat> what is she talking about? <clears throat> Living glass. Could it truly be? Thank you, Crone of the Marsh. That would be all. I carry a small inventory of items for sale if you need, and the fireplace is yours if you want to cook or rest. Oh, and you will need a key to progress further. Here. Got Yomara's key. Shroomy, boomy, key time. Thanks, Yomara. Be well. And yeah, may as well stock up, right? 
Let's see what you got in your storage. Oh, just turns out we already got a maple cork. Thank you very much. An Eye of Yumara. Displays weaknesses, resistances, and non-boss enemy HP in combat. Well, that'd be a good replacement for the Abacus. Too bad I'm fucking poor. Wow. Been spending so much money. Let's see. Do we have any weapons we can sell? Withered cork. Calcite lid. Not 800 G's worth. Can we make a deal? Can I uh, sell you some? Uh... Well, I can make a bunch of crustades and sell those to her. We'd have to have. I would have to sell 20. And I don't have the space. Too bad. Let's see. Get another couple hearty stews. We'll do a moon cradle fish pie. I think those are the three things we ate. And then we'll rest, and then we'll save, and then we'll go. And that's how you do it. Dick. Rest. Thanks, Crone of the Marsh. Oh. Dude. I'm glad we randomly walked back there because I was not thinking about it. All right, let's get our wheat. Wheat berries. Dad, did you like that pear flex where they tried to pretend that pears are the best fruit? I used to think that when I was a kid. I don't think that anymore. Pears are pretty awesome, but they're not the best. Berries are the best. Specifically blueberry, blueberries. Blueberries are the best fruit. Unless, uh... Blueberries are not technically considered a fruit if it's one of those things where it's like, it's actually a berry. Okay. Is, are blueberries berries or fruits? They're fruits, right? And berries, both. Nice. Kapow! Ooh, I forgot they were vulnerable. That was actually a sick attack. Uh, standard attack. And you're done. I mean, the good news from all the grinding and stuff and shopping that we did and all the money that we spent is that we do have... Um, hello? Hello? We do have a ton of ingredients, so we can make whatever recipes we want. Chat, I hope you're all doing good today. Hit that lurk button if you're uh, just hanging out and not, not chatting, which is my vibe, by the way. That is what I do when I go on streams, for the most part. Because usually I'm just working on something else in the background. Like when I had a normal job, I was working on the job, and now I just work on the stream while I watch other streams. That looks like where we're supposed to go. Yep, yep. Maybe? I don't know. Could be treasure. Maybe it's treasure.
One, two, three. Ha, ha, ha. We're getting good at those puzzles. Oh, shit. Sometimes it's just hard to tell which which direction has the treasure chest and which direction is the direction we're supposed to go. Well, it turns out I was wrong. We got to go the other way. Okay, so let's hop down. Let's do this little cave. Fight this tortoise thing. We're going to hurl these guys together. All right. God, I forget how that thing works. Okay. And next, we're going to bust out Sarai, and we're going to disorient. Buy a little more time in that lock. We get an attack, and then we can see if we can get Rashawn in. We'll do an abeyance, and then we'll break the lock. Bam. Oh, they're vulnerable. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so it, the rock bounces once, then it pops. Dude, I love item roulette. Let's do it. Sure. I still don't know what most of these things do. Like, we got a clock last time and it did nothing. Okay, what is this? didn't give us anything like no AP oh well oh well I'll see. Glad we went this way. This is another ability. Garl and Rashawn learned the combo skill Venom Bomb. Okay. I'm glad we're picking up all these new combos. It's kind of hard to keep track of all of them. Okay, so we've got Moon Shiv. That's a three combo point. Arcane Moons we've done a bunch of times. Okay, Soonerang, yep, we know about that one. Nice, it does bash and poison. It's only one combo point cost. Sick. It's a random item for a special effect. Is it chat? Does anybody in here know what the uh, the clock from item roulette does? Inquiring beards want to know. Almost knocked myself out of that. Okay, next. Down the long stairwell. The environment design of this game is sick. I love it. Uh, should we jump down the hole? First thing. I guess not. Whatever. Okay, I don't mind the sh shroomy shroomy knights, but the grassassins I despise. Yeah, fungus spikes are no big deal. All right, let's get Rashawn in here. Let's bring the family together. Mm. 
no idea how to time that one. That's okay. Okay, let's swap out you for you. For you? You. Let's just do some ability where we can get all of them. Not bad. Not bad. Get blocked. Uh, okay. Skills. Combo. Solstice Strike. It's even more combo points. What are we swapping for? Let's get... Sry in here, we can start building up a little bit more points. MPs. Let's see. I'm not going to double attack. Let's see if we can get two attacks in so we can get some extra MP. Yes. There we go. That's the way to do it. Try to squeeze whatever you can at each battle. Okay, so we can kind of crawl across there, but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere right now. So let's walk around, see what's up. Okay, so we can latch here. And do we drop? What's up? Hmm. I guess it's just a shortcut for later. Okay. That's fine. How long are we in? Hour 45? God damn. Okay. I felt like we've been going fast. How do you guys feel, chat? <laughs> RPGs can kind of like never seem like they're going fast sometimes. Sometimes it feels grindy no matter what. Okay. Let's, uh, let's use some items. The Moon Cradle Fish Pie, that gets everybody a decent amount of MP. Party Stew seems like overkill. Mm, yeah, all the rest of my food seems like overkill right now. Let's save it. You ready for a boss fight? Okay, I was saying mushroom crab. Let's see how it goes. It's probably Brugavis. I bet it's Brugavis. Or no fight. What? Okay. Cool. Nice, we just opened up a secret path that takes us back. A little shortcut. Is that a hint? Is there some, something we should be going back for? We didn't unlock any new abilities, like any new like world map abilities. Yamara's pair was unreal. There's something special about Mesa Island, don't you think? <clears throat> Must be hard thinking about that whole Arlena and Brugava situation. I'm here, okay? The Acolytes are probably watching. Don't let your guard down. I don't trust the alchemist yet. Indeed. Teeks. Hey, you want to hear a story? Ah, the two alchemists. We have a new story, guys. Here we go. <clears throat> Countless millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Rashan and Ephraim set out to create the elixir of life and succeeded. As all things in alchemy come at a price, the gift of immortality caused their bodies to decay, leading them to conceal their hideousness under colorful robes. <laughs> Rashawn's just like, I can fucking hear you, Teeks. Reveling at first in the bright side of their immortal coil, they spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Over time, however, Ephraim grew increasingly jealous of the ephemerality he would never taste again. 
Thus began his wicked journey into the forbidden schools of alchemy. A journey which would see every last bit of good in his heart dissipate as he experimented with soul, bone, flesh, and blood alike. <coughs> hmm. Time for some water. As <clears throat> fate would have it, Everell fully embraced evil and emerged as the Fleshmancer, a vengeful immortal plaguing the world with his monstrous creations. Rashan tried intervening as best he could, but all that ensued was unspeakable chaos and collateral damage as the two former friends fought with godlike powers. After much struggle, Rashan discovered the flesh minion's only weaknesses to be solar and lunar magic, a power bestowed upon those born during a solstice. He began training these children to become solstice warriors, singularly tasked with culling the members, the numbers of the Fleshmancer's creations. But Ephraim's knowledge was also growing. Eventually, he became capable of creating oddities of unlimited potential known as dwellers. They would be impervious to all forms of magic, except during a total eclipse when Solstice Warriors would have a very short window to attempt taking them down. And Dwellers, it turned out, were creatures in development feeding on local life. Left to their own devices for too long, they would evolve into world eaters, spelling doom for all. Armed with knowledge and power, Solstice Warriors would patrol the world, tracking dwellers to determine which should be taken down during the next eclipse. If they remained vigilant, there would never be a world eater, but Rashan knew such a stalemate would only cause Ephraim to devise something even worse. In a desperate attempt to get ahead, Rashan boldly performed transmutation alchemy on the very space-time continuum itself. After successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds, he shelved his alchemy vial and took up the mantle of Archivist. <clears throat> On an endless journey across all realities, he would catalog every possible outcome in search of a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Meanwhile, Ephraim rejoiced at the infinite number of opportunities for destruction that had just opened up to him. To find some measure of peace amidst their immortal conflict, the two alchemists made a pact to let the fate of each timeline play out on its own. And so the game of cat and mouse began, played by dwellers and solstice warriors on one level, and by Rashan and Ephraim on another. Across a myriad of timelines and over innumerable centuries, <coughs> some worlds would never be visited by Ephraim while others would be cursed by his mark. Once marked, it was only a matter of time until a world met its finality, often following centuries of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a world eater or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of solstice warriors into guardian gods. As to when Rashan plans on recomposing the timelines or whether he even knows how, remains to be saved. The end. Nice story. <clears throat> Living glass. Under no circumstances am I fighting a dweller. Alright, cool, 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 man. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Continuing the clockwork conundrum. Campfire feels so cozy and warm. We don't need to cook anything, we just need to rest. <laughs> Hi, beard on firebot. The ultimate chatter. Mm. Here we go. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's another douche. What kind of douche is this? It's a boulder douche. And the Roches Crossadera. Rocha Crossadera. Alright, Zale, do your thing. Alright, 
let's let's moonray just see what we're vulnerable against man i wish we had that 888 gold so that we could go and uh get that upgraded abacus Being resistances would be pretty nice. All right, souls to strike, let's go. And you're dead. An onion. Boulder douches have onions. The more you know. Okay, so yeah, this is totally the tower where uh, we encountered the four other douches. The numbered douches. It slapped. Okay, we'll break that first. And then we'll get some fun abilities going. Let's go. Get deflected. Get deflected. Fuck. I got really focused on doing a voice. Get deflected. Get deflected. Yeah. A little better. A little bit better. Potatoes and onions. Weird combos in this place. I forget, you can use your grapple to go just like a little faster. A cog prototype, okay. Seems like something I could use to open a door. Right? Right? Oh, cool. May as well. Win at KOA. Do as the KOA people do. Do you guys know KOA? Is that an international thing? Or just like a national thing? Clockwork Castle. <clears throat> we made it. The Dweller of Strife is somewhere in there. Didn't need the prototype cog at all. They just opened the door for me. You. We are bound by oath not to let you enter the Acolyte's headquarters. What about your oath as Solstice Warriors? That one was not taken willingly. Valir, please hear me out. Step aside right now. Stick to the plan, Brugavis. The Dweller will knock some sense into them. <clears throat> we only need to buy some time. Please, Zale, surrender. Forget it. And it brings me no joy, but we must ensure the Acolytes finish the waking ritual. Bring it. Do your worst. Ahem. Uh, hey, I think we should sit this one out. Do you, though? <laughs> I mean, do you? Moon Chakus. Hey. No. Don't you dare. Okay. I thought he was going to do, like, a moon rank thing. That's not allowed. Uh, okay.
Oh, may as well Lunar Shield here. Okay, we got two turns. Plenty for a Moon Ring. We'll knock out those moons and then we'll uh, we'll do a Blade from Zale. We're good to go. You guys aren't so tough. Traitors! Yeah, let's just do a dash strike. We just came all the way here to get blocked. Is that it? Yeah, we'll solstice to strike you. I have nothing that does two suns. It drives me crazy. I guess we'll just settle for one. <clears throat> All right, what do you got? Probably something nasty. Healing rain. Okay. Well, you suck. How about that? You suck. All right, we can knock out most of it. Searing Pyramid. This is the one I was worried about. I right, we should probably just focus on, like, Brugavis. Maybe Arlena, since she's the healer. Yeah, Brugavis isn't really doing much of anything. I right, look at those boost balls just littering the battlefield. Dude, my timing is so off with these attacks. Yeah, let's just a uh, moon cradle fish pie. There we go. Okay, get wrecked, Frugavis. Seriously. Can't believe I liked you guys at the beginning. Ain't no time for traitors. Got it this time. Didn't have it. Well, one block. Something. Triple block, dude. Wonder what spell she was doing. All right, we got us down. Just gotta make sure she doesn't heal him up. She probably does have some kind of heal. Done. Done. Yeah, you guys, you should have trained harder. That should be enough. You can still join us. Don't you dare. Get lost. Let's go, Bergavis.
Ah! Hello? What bounty? Fucking call me the Jolly Green Giant. Okay. Cuckoo Monster, Clock Zombies. Cool. <laughs> it makes it. It's a bird. Of course, it makes a noise. Uh, anybody who's joined in, this game, the devs love birds. Every bird that you see in the game has its own unique sound effect. But other things just don't. <laughs> but they like they made sure like okay guys we we got to make sure all the birds have their own thing going on. All right, we don't really need abeyance. Let's hook it up. We'll do a little venom flurry. See? The Kooka bird sound effect. Zombies, not so much. Whenever you're choosing, like, who goes at the end of the battle, especially if you know the enemy won't get an attack in, like, go for the characters that need MP. So you can do at least a standard attack and get some MP back for them. That way you're set up for the next battle. Got to be thinking ahead. I see you up there. Go, 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 go. All right, see if they're vulner vulner vulnerable to sun as well. We shall see. Not so much. They're just vulnerable to blunt so far. Speaking of, let's get Garl in here. Yeah, get a little extra boom. There it is. Sure, let's do Arcane and Lunar. Why not? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's how we get back up there. Oh, I see some flesh in the corner. I see some flesh. Fleshmancer evidence right there. Okay. So really, we're trying to get to that one. Right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. What does that do? The hell does that do, Chad? No, this, this room isn't for nothing. There's something going on here. God damn it. Dad, do you see anything happening with that? Okay, so I hit this. Oh, 
Oh, I just hit it multiple times. Got it. Just took a little figuring out is all. Is there anything in this water? Can I jump in there? I can, and there's not. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's fight. Stab that guy right in the butthole. We got a strife minion up in here. Okay. Let's do a double boost. Took care of that guy. Zale could use some MP. Who else needs MP? You could use some MP. Let's swap Garland. Let's do a Nourish ability. We'll have Zale do an attack. Who else needs MP? Nobody. And it. Okay, something is going to pop out of the ground right here, or we build a bridge. Easy as that. The combination of flesh and clocks is kind of unnerving. Like cogs and gears and flesh piles. It's not as disturbing as Signalis was. Signalis was... Dude, the visuals in that game were so fucked. I loved it. So atmospheric. Like, the atmosphere was unnerving every time that you were in the game. All right. Well, there it is. So this does that. Well, we can get the leftmost one at least. Okay, that did nothing. Cool. And now we can get the rightmost one. That did nothing. One more time. Now push in the corner. And up. Hey, it did something. Oh, okay. We need to get this thing down. One of these... Do anything? Did not. Hmm. Okay, chat. So we get this in here, and then we can crawl up top. Get this to the left. I 
we have it did nothing it did nothing for us we had to do something up top first okay push that down okay so let's get up top Okay, here we go. There it is, there it is, there it is. Got it. Okay, now we need to get both the left and the right areas depressed. there that goes there and something happens cool puzzle done god it just seems like there's so much loot and we teleported to santa's workshop Travelers, would you like to have a look at my wares? Okay. Ooh. Dude, we just talked about how poor I am. Oh, plus nine and plus six is really good, though. Plus seven and plus nine is really good, too. Uh, that's only plus four. Increases potency of venom attacks. Okay, so that actually has like some real applicab applicability. Applicability, it's applicable. I'm just gonna save my money. We'll see what happens. Maybe a mistake. Have to keep working. Talk to Kale. You need anything you should talk to kale who's kale i'm not kale let me work hi kale yes this will do i can't wait to see their faces <laughs> uh him no oh, visitors uh, nice to meet you. My name is Garl, and these are my friends Valir, Zale, Sarai, and Rashawn. Hello, everyone. I'm Kale. I hope it's not rude to ask, but... Are you human? Pretty wrinkly for a kid, huh? That's because my friends and I have been 10 years old for a very long time. What do you mean? Time? What about it? It doesn't pass within this castle. Or rather, it doesn't pass within the bodies of its residents. We cannot die of natural causes, but we must remain here always. This time prison has been our home for centuries. If we were to leave, we would instantly age and die. So that's the gist of it. Oh, that's grim. It's okay. We like it here. Plus, we get to be kids forever. How cool is that? Even though making machines for the bad guys ain't exactly our preference, it sure beats the alternative. What's the alternative? Ask the assassin. Oh, backstory. Monday morning. Let the emails roll in. Anyway, what brings you here? We came to confront the Acolytes and take down the Dweller of Strife. Oh, yeah? For that, you'd have to get through that big door leading to the ritual room. 
But in order to do that, you would need to fetch the watchmaker's master key atop the clock tower. And in order to do that, you would need to break the magic seal on the door leading to the clock tower. So, you're out of luck. And what makes you think you could take on a dweller anyway? Lear and Zale are solstice warriors. Really? Prove it. Bring the knight. Watch this. Whoa. No way. Did you see that? Blair, was it? Come here, please. Now, touch this crystal with your palm. It worked! Kill, you're a genius! What was that? The proof that eclipse magic can be catalyzed. The implications are beyond words. Does this mean you can help? Yes, this experiment changes everything. We have a device that can help you against the Dweller of Strife. You can enter the clock tower now. Just need to get the master key while we finish our preparations. The Acolytes are in for a surprise. <laughs> Alright, cool. So these guys are chill. I was worried that they would be, like, working for the bad guys, but they're more just living here, and the bad guys let them continue to live here because they make stuff. So they'd rather not have the bad guys and just make the stuff. I wish I could control the light, too. Let's try. Come on. We have to finish preparing the device before they return. Do the thing with us, Kale. Uh, okay, but just for a little bit. There's still 10. That's funny. Are you human? <laughs> uh, dude. Garl is the best. Okay, well. Okay, okay, okay. I'm guessing this gets rid of that middle bridge that we already have. Or something. Nope, there we go. Oh boy. Run! Run! Swamp, 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 swamp. Swamp, 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 swamp. That's the sound effect it makes, right? Can we keep going up? In the clock tower, right? Seems like this is the way to go. Okay. Left it is. So we can push that with our wind farts, fist farts. Got a right platform, left platform. We probably need to do both of them. Oh. All right, so this comes over. Aww. Doesn't look like I can climb up on that, though. How about this? That also doesn't look like I could climb up on it, but it gets us this uh, little grapple spot. So that works. Okay. Fist fart. Fist fart. And there we go. found another evergreen leaf. I think that was for HP plus 30. God, that's so good. 
Hmm. Minus four attack, but plus 30 HP is huge. Well, that's just a green leaf. All right, that, that works. Uh, the door was there. Next room. Oh, hey guys. Didn't expect you here. <clears throat> cool. Even though we reduced the attack, we could still kill him in one hit. That was that was good. Uh, let's sunball this guy. Hopefully, we can get him in one attack too. We'll just use the rest of our time building up our MP. And tanking with our face. This is Garl. Let's, uh, let's nourish. I guess we just combo. Let's go. That gets a little something something. Okay, piles of books, piles of flesh. Nice. Well, thankfully an easy puzzle. If you see those, just hit it multiple times, guys. Just multiple times. This is the key. Top of a tower right there. Fine. Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. Crescent arc. Bro. I haven't hit one of those in a while. What are we doing? What are we doing here? So we've got 54 left on that clock zombie. They do a decent amount of attack damage, so we should try to knock one of these guys out. Get it done. Uh, we'll moonerang. I think that'll get at least 54 on the bottom guy, and then the top guy will be, you know, weak. Maybe if we swap in Sarai and do a Disorient. Oh, just kidding. Battle done. Battle done. All right, so we have a little ladder here. Takes us to where we can do nothing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. this do? Standing up on this does nothing? Okay. Mm -hmm. well, that got me up here. Oh, the switch. Duh. Shit. Is 
Does that work? That works. Next switcheroo. And we pop this over to that edge. Easy, easy. Double twist. What about the conch? There it is. What's our conch count at? Thirty-seven conches, nice. I think thirty-five is what we needed for our next uh, unlock, so we're ready. Oh, good. Okay. Didn't see the ledges. Okay. Now we just need to find our way back. Uh, cool. That's a Zale attack to break the lock. Finally. Finally. Three more MP2. Good stuff. Let's hurl this homie. Burned so much in this game. I know I've said it so many times, but it's so true. Locked. Yep. There it is. Okay, so we brought the entire floor up. What's up here? Treasure? A blue leaf. What's up here? Max MP plus five. Dude, he has an ability that he doesn't have enough MP for, I think. So, yeah. Let's look at skills. Skills for old Rashan. Oh, no, it's the ultimate. Okay. Nah, it's cool. Getting him so that he can actually do two of this Petrichor ability is pretty good. I forget about his plus one or, like, his remove one lock ability. Like, that's actually huge. Oh, wait. Yeah, yep. Gotta go the long way. I feel like this is probably going to be the top floor that we get to next. So instead of going up again, I'm going to go down because we didn't never we never went down before. I think we did two levels. Do we have a fireplace in here anywhere? well. We're going up. Another! Yeah, was I right about the top floor thing? Or was I right about the top floor thing? What's up, dude? 
Oh, the watchmaker. He's the guy who made wheels. Look, we need your master key in order to... Whatever you may need, I take no part in any conflict. Is that your master key? Quite peculiar how it happened to appear just like that. Are you saying we can take it? I am simply pointing out the peculiarity of what just happened. I have work to do. Got the master key. You want to challenge me at a game of wheels? Don't be silly. You haven't even beaten all the champions yet. Oh, cool. Okay. Do not touch that. Well, it's kind of hoping for a little something there. Fine. Okay, we go down and it takes us all the way to the bottom. Yeah. There it is. That's how I like it. <laughs> bottom. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, homies. Oh, wait, is that a fireplace? Yeah, campfire. Yeah, moon cradle fish pie for sure. What else? Do another Chris Dodd. Just cuz. Nice. Rest and then uh, boss battle. Let's go. Saved it. Oh, is this the device? Did you get the key? We did. Perfect. The door is just up there. While you keep the acolytes busy, we will sneak the device past the ritual room. It was designed a while ago to fit on the second tower, so you will have to lure the dweller there somehow. Sounds risky, but I'm sure we could do it. Once you see it in action, you won't regret the hassle. Are you sure it will work? Now that we have confirmed ellipse magic can be catalyzed, absolutely. Okay, we have a plan. A familiar form of magic emanates from under the blanket. Mm. Here we go. Nasty. You're a bit early, I'm afraid. Good. The Dweller of Strife isn't ready to play just yet. We're taking it down. Step aside or else. Ha 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 ha. Bold of you to assume you could take on all four of us. Bold and deluded, too. And as usual, three says nothing. Wow, they were really sneaky. Kale, where do you think you're going? Get back to your workshop at once. You've got a bigger problem to worry about over here, you creeps. Three. Commence. All right, we should take down three first. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Gotta have that huge lock right out the gate, huh? If we get this Moonerang in, then we'll bring in Sarai for a Disorient. Buy a little more time on the lock. Ooh. 
we'll be building combo points like freaking crazy here. All right, so swap for Sarai. Disorient. Hey, I don't like that double <laughs> attack nonsense that we just saw right there. Uh, let's see. Damn. Well, I wish we had two combo points. That would be pretty awesome. Okay, so what we need is a dash strike. Now, Venom Flurry. Or maybe we just... Yeah, let's phase shift for some extra damage. Thing though, I can get sword and sun. Nope. That's too bad. We'll just lunar shield. Call it good. So we won't break that lock, we'll take the damage, but we won't take any damage unless it's multiple hits. The attack, okay. Let's uh, save up our combos. Really love to take down three. Yeah, I think three should be the first one we take down. That way he can't go into the next room and interfere with whatever uh, Kale's doing with the kids. Get more balls on the field. Give us some flexibility. Um, party stew would be not a bad idea. Damn, timing. Three is a badass. Hits hard. Okay, what was our triple? Oh, Zale's the only one who can go. What do you got? We can do solar rain. All right, we can do a lot of stuff. Let's uh, let's not worry about a combo. Let's do a nourish or survive. So we got time to knock out this moon ring. And also just a boosted attack from Zale. That'll take care of both the locks. We're missing out on a lot of combo points right now. But I mean, breaking these is also super important. So I'm just going to go with breaking as a priority. Ah, oh, fuck. Forgot about the shield. Forgot all about that. Locked one. Okay, what's our three combo abilities? Swap or moon shift. Fucking wreck, dude. Three's down. 
Well. That could go bad. Okay, we don't want Lear to go down. I think that was worth it. Okay, fuck you, buddy. 135? Woof. I didn't like that. Hopefully three doesn't just get back up. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. Great Eagle. Did it heal me? I think it I think it healed. Pretty sure. That's two of them down. May as well use one ball. Take the boost. You have four turns left, my guy. You are done. Okay, we'll swap. Keep going for MP. Fifteen K XP. Woo. Okay. God, MP is OP. Get some more magic attack. Garl. Dude, let's just have you be just a smasher, Garl. Your physical defense is just insane. We gotta get your attacks up. And your MP is sad. You heard me, Zale. Your MP is sad. It makes me sad. God, why are you... Lork. At last, it is awake. Awake and angry too. Quick, we run now. There's still a chance. Run? <laughs> the dweller has your scent. It's too late to hide. That's exactly what we're counting on. Fools, straight into the belly of the beast. Ah. Don't mind if I do. A couple more hearty stews. Okay. And we'll rest. And save. We'll do all the things, guys. We'll do every single little thing. This amulet is tingling. Okay, we've got the eclipse. Let's hurry. Ooh, that was a flashy red comet. Let's give me chrono trigger vibes. Watch out! I'm going back now coming again. Oh, this is a... 
Ah, this is a cool little map. I like this. Oh, kid. Would you like to have a look at my wares? Bro, I'm still just as broke as I was before. I'm trying to save up my 800. Uh, hello? Somebody was just creeping through that window. Oh, yep, okay, it's it's the kids. <laughs> there you are. Eh. A lot of stairs for his little legs. Kale, what's the plan? You just fight this thing as hard as you can and the crystal will absorb some of the energy you unleash. Whenever it's fully charged, it will fire. Understood. Uh, I didn't quite catch that because I was just reading out loud and not absorbing into the info. Did they say I should do anything or it just does its thing occasionally? Nicely done, team. The device is perfectly calibrated. We'll clear the way now. Good luck, Solstice Warriors. Ready, Valir? You bet. We can't do much, but we'll support you however we can. I am not touching the dweller. But... The agreement. Darl and I have got your back. Ooh, you nasty. It's time. Really? I'm just gonna do me right out the gate? How about disorient? How about that? Dash strike. Oh, I wish I had a blade and sword ability. Oh well. Holy shit. disorient again. Uh, we'll just do a normal attack with Zale. And then we'll swap to Valir. Alright, then we'll sunball. I'm hoping Sunball powers up the, uh, the thing. Okay, it does. Basically, any Solstice attack nails it. Okay, let's keep saving up our combo points. Uh, Sarai just... Actually, let's swap for Garl. Garl can do some healing. And then we can moon ring. Alright, so this isn't like a skill based one where I can get that little crystal to attune just by doing better. It only goes up every single individual time you do one of the uh, the attacks in question. Okay, so let's swap Sarai. Oh, we're all out. Get your combo points back up. Your MP onion. Fuck. Okay, combo. Yep. 
about halfway full. I feel like those are pretty cheap ways for me. Oh, Eclipse Laser. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. That was insane. All right, what do we got here? We got... Okay, yeah, we got to disorient. All right, then we got to get... Uh... Yes, we gotta get a ball on the field. That's perfect. Get broken. Shit, again? Bro, I don't have enough disorient to handle all this. Now, let's just do a soon ring. Ah, no. Souls to Strike takes care of the most. Unfortunately, it doesn't get any balls in the field. Woof. All right. Like, getting Sarai to do more attacks is just so, so important. And we should really just be doing, like, the cheapest possible solar abilities. Okay, well, doing your standard attack is going to be the best way. All right, crash. Fuck. Buff for Garl. Garl is going to do some nourishing. There we go. Combo points are maxed out. We only have two in play. Let's just do a normal attack. Let's get a charge. We'll get a charge in. Okay, three turns till their next attack. Uh, Garl. I want you to swap back to Sarai so that Sarai can get some more MP. Okay, sick. Uh, Zale. Why don't you actually do a fucking Moon Cradle Fish Pie? That way we get everybody's MP back up. We're feeling good, looking good. We can go ahead and Crescent Arc right here. Why don't we do a Lunar Shield? That's sick. Okay, so I can do defensive abilities. So we could heal with Zale. Okay, that's good to know. So we could do a heal with Zale and we could uh, make some progress here. That's sick. All right, now we're full up on the balls. Clips laser. Get lasered, you nerd. Guess that was two of them. He got pissed. Hit the wall again. Do I need to do something when he hits the wall? Yeah, we go for just a single charge. Call that good. Ultimate's not going to do anything. You've got nothing that I want. Let's swap you out for Garl. And Garl can at least get 
some MP back. Okay, Valir, where are we at? Good Crescent Arc. Yeah. Here, I'll get some more balls in play. I suck at doing those, apparently. Let's do a healing light. Because it's cheap. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is why we saved him up. Combo, Solstice Strike. Get wrecked. Get some more MP. More MP for you too. Got. No problem. Oh, I didn't do the combo. That was dumb. Forty eighty three. Interesting. Okay, I tried to time it. I think I did a pretty good job. Okay. Cool, so he's super pissed at the tower. Uh, awesome. Nail? Oof, good thing my backpack took most of the hit. Okay, but we gotta find Zale. The crystal broke, but the dweller remains. I don't know what we can do now. Dale! Let's keep fighting. Okay, this just got a little more difficult. Oh, no more combo points. Fuck. Well. Let's hearty stew. You can't take two of those, though. Okay. We're going to focus on heals. They can't do it. But, Sean, you must help now. Well, there are rules. I cannot touch a dweller. Hey, that's not fair. We've been nothing but nice to you. You agreed to my terms. Screw your terms. You fool! Oh, you have really done it now. Oh. Uh, the eclipse just stopped. Let me do the talking, and whatever happens, do not attract his attention. Who's attention? Ooh, oh shit. Fucking Cthulhu. Our Lord returns at long last. Our Lord and Master too.
It wasn't me. Oh, spare me the old excuse. The vial of time touched a dweller. Whether you did it yourself or let it happen, this is on you. An eye for an eye, then. But we will get to that. Weller of strife. How? Fleshmancer, we... One. Yes, Master. I'm honored that you remember me. How could you stay alive for so long? Surely you spent plenty of time outside of the castle. Sacrifice. Sacrifice and dedication too. We used the vampire rose. Oh, we heard about that. The vampire. Tell me, does it hurt? All the time. Interesting. I commend your dedication. Master. Still, resurrecting a dweller. Who provided the blood moon? We did. Thanks. What is your wish? Master, if I may. Speak. The sorceress shows unparalleled magical prowess. I believe she would make for a great lieutenant at your current headquarters. What about the other one? He prefers to forget, and demands only confirmation that he will never have to fight these Solstice Warriors again. I see. I am not losing the Dweller of Strife again. Acolytes. Master? Are you prepared to serve for all eternity? We desire nothing more. Oh shit. Then leave now alongside my dearest creation. I, I will see to your transformation. Yes. The four of you will be merged with the Dweller to become its conscience. In the distant future, you shall return together as one, the king of a new race. Thank you, Master. Do not interfere. This creation will be unstoppable. Now, I suppose a proper sidekick is in order. Martial artist. You wish to forget? I do, and I never want to fight Solstice Warriors again. But let us make sure you are not needed for a very long time. Go now. Follow the Dweller and his acolytes. Blirts, not too late. We have nothing to talk about. Zale, you two can come with me and be free of... Just leave. Save yourself. It's all you can do now. Alina, if there's a way, I will find you again. Live on, Brugavis. Everything I did, I did for you. Just remember. 
Enough. Time to go. Gobbis, is it? Allow me to give you a new form and a new name, and I shall grant all your wishes. All my life I tried to do what was expected of me, only to hear again and again that I was too slow. I desire only one thing, new master, to feel adequate and fit for my role. Do not worry. When I am done with you, you'll be the fastest there's ever been. Sorceress, it appears my current seat of power may come under fire soon. Help me defend it, and I will make you ruler of the world when I leave. Do these terms suit you? They do. Then allow me to give you a new form and a new name, and I shall grant all your wishes. I want power. Power overwhelming. Perfect. Now go, and I will be with you shortly. Fleshmancer fight? Hmm? Now, where was I? Get behind us. An eye for an eye then, Rashan. A single hit. That's the deal. Why? Afraid they can't take more? Do your worst. You're nothing but a loser. Garl. Ha, ha, ha. Watch out. established that stopping time was impossible. How do you do it, Rashad? It isn't really stopped. I had an epiphany while experimenting with time loops. Time could be brought to a near complete stop by creating an infinitely short recursive sequence. Genius. I suppose these crystals are what is holding the time loop together. <laughs> I think Ephraim's fucking cool. <laughs> there he is cool, dude. They're beautiful. What do you call them? Time shards. You always were the better artist. I would ask if I can keep one, but I understand they will dissolve when you break the loop. So, how have you been? Sulking in your archive for a few centuries again? How much is enough, Averill? Have you still no regard for the pain and suffering you leave in your wake? Oh, please, do give me that lecture again. These solstice warriors, why are you traveling with them? They're not ready to ascend. We will see. You think they will come after me? Did I earn a slap on the wrist again? You took over an entire species. Ha! You know as well as I do that these lives are lost anyway once you recompose the timelines. <laughs> Still procrastinating that one, I noticed. One more wrong will not make this right, Afro. Their suffering is real. And so is mine. You know what? I agree. 
Let's skip the usual debate. But to answer your question, yes, I do believe these two will drive you out from your current stronghold. Oh, don't make me laugh. Even if they somehow made it across the Sea of Stars, the sorceress would be my champion. And as I am sure you could tell, her potential is limitless. They can do it. I'm certain. Now would you look at that? Rashawn wants to pit innocent children of the solstice against their former mentor. And somehow I'm the bad guy. to think that you could stop me with a snap of your fingers. But no, you choose to cling to the silly belief that this all turns to good someday. Enough. <laughs> As you wish. Thanks for the chat, partner. Yeah. Carl. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Sean, do something. He took a direct hit and has no innate magic to protect himself. Even I can't help. I'm sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. Who's the loser now, huh? You'll be dead in a few moments. Any last words? Oh, ask for the thing. Garl, ask for the thing. I can't lose you. Huh? Elder Mist? What? Say, Elder Mist? Here's something your friend must see before he passes. But it is time. Let it in. Embrace your true power and bring Garl to me. The Elder Mist. We have to go right now. What? That's way too far. Garl is dying. Don't you see, Valir? The distance is always short if we fly away. the spark after all. Run while you can, Fleshmancer. The sorceress and I will be waiting. Come, if you dare. They're gods? Back to the mountain trail. Does it feel any better? Ah, not really. Sail, it really hurts. I'm so sorry, buddy. I feel colder and colder. Garl. Hey, we got to fly in the end. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Try not to talk. So, uh, you go after Alina and the Fleshmancer? That doesn't matter right now. Seems like they left for a faraway place. Don't worry about it, Garl. Just stay with us. I wish I could help you get there. I wish I could help you one last time. You gotta ask for the thing, girl. Who 
death is near, the unresolved chapters of one's prophecy beckon. The way to help may be in there. Allow me. Oh! Skybridge, the Sleeping Serpent, the Volcano, the Underwater Thingamajig, the Sea of Stars. Valir, I just, I had a vision. I think I know how to help you go after them. Thank you, Elder Mist. I understand now. The Sea of Stars. <laughs> it's too late. If I had just one more day. I can't do it if you don't ask. Okay, you didn't have to give us a full flashback. We remember, guys. Sean. I demand a flask of borrowed time. He had it ready. <laughs> Rashawn was like, fucking ask, I got it ready. Okay, that really hit the spot. I feel as if... <laughs> oh. Huh? Um... Listen carefully, Garl. The ethereal feeling you are experiencing is a side effect of borrowed time. The potion's magic worked only because you had clarity of purpose. You currently exist in between realities. Borrowed time will keep you here until your deed is done. But you must understand, you will still die in the end. That cannot be changed. It's okay, I understand. And I know exactly what to do. First, Garl! Huh? You're just going to act like nothing's wrong? I don't have much time, Valir. I want to make the most of it. Don't say that. There might still be a way. There isn't. I'm sorry. If you use the time for anything other than the stated purpose, the borrowed time will expire instantly. Guys, it's okay. I already did a lot more than a regular Moon Cradle boy has any right to do. All I want is one last adventure with you. This is so sad. Seeing Gar's final deed through is what will extend his borrowed time the most. You don't understand. You can't lose him. It's too late for that regardless. I just want to help one last time. Can you do this for me? Please, it's my final wish. You only ever get one of those. Come on. It's this or nothing. Let's make it count, okay? Make it count. Let's make it count. All right, let's do this. To get across the sea of stars, there's people we need permission from. We'll need a bargaining chip, but I know just the thing. Where are those people? Well, huh? I suppose the flying was a spur of the moment thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure how we did that. The connection took place, but your new powers need to want more time to grow. It's okay. There's another way. That mysterious shrine out in the ocean south of Mesa Island is connected somehow. Yeet can get us closer. Let's go. Okay, you can throw us other places. All right, everybody's good. We're all good. Everybody's good. Never missed island selecting. Hello, Yeet. Yeet stands still, awaiting a magic word. These are the two we already had. Okay, Kukar gets us closest. <laughs> this shit's funny. <laughs> 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 
All right, six. So you want us to go down to the sky bridge, which we fucked with before, but there was nothing to fuck. Skyward shine, shine bridge. Uh, Chad, I gotta pee, man. I gotta pee like you wouldn't believe. Gotta go. Oh, he's like literally ethereal. It's crazy. Out of reach. Did your vision contain anything about how to get to it? I, uh, not really. I just know deep down that we have everything we need. Valir? I like Valir. Valir's fucking badass. Valir took swipes at the Fleshmancer during, like, during his, uh, whole monologue. Respect. One of my favorite D&D &D moments, which is one that Dungeon Masters actually hate in reality. If you're playing D&D &D with the Dungeon Master, don't do this, but I... I loved, there was a, a, like a mini, a baddie was doing his like, you know, fucking big monologue piece. We were playing not d d it was a vampire. And I just decided, I was like, oh, I'm going to shoot him mid-sentence. And the, the DM's like, really? You're just going to shoot him? And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to shoot him mid-sentence. And I rolled like an amazing crit. One shot the boss with a surprise attack. And it just felt so damn satisfying as a player. Even though I got no lore dump, I have no idea who his boss is, what his story was. I was just like, yeah, he's fucking dead, though. I took him out, man. Got a bigger payday, so got ahead of a couple bills and settled about a third of my CC debt. Ooh, nice. Congrats. Congrats. Getting my getting my uh, credit card debt taken care of is like one of the proudest things that I've ever done. And I was like, could never do it again. I bet your DM hated you. In that case, he didn't. He was just like, he didn't expect it. And he was like, awesome. Like, let's do it. Yeah, we were good. Sadly, he actually ended up uh, unaliving himself shortly after. So that was, the last, uh, that was the last session we ever played. So he did have things planned out, but we never got to play it again. Real sad. Fan stories. Huh? All right, Valir's, Valir's going to power across this whole, whole bridge thing. Bam. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Fuck yeah. Wow. Damn, that sucks. It did. Yeah, man. Yeah. Solid DM. Really cool dude. Really cool dude. This is back in, uh, back in college. So, you know, forever ago. There's actually like, uh, what's even the word for it? Like a memorial website that they had back then. And so like once every few years, I get a message saying like, hey, do you want to put any more messages on the, the website? I never do, but I go back and I read the messages that were, uh, on there um i don't think so i think it was like back in 2006 or seven yeah yeah 2006 2007 right there way to go valir quite impressive how did you know The Oracle of the Tides. He said I could mend the connection. That was unreal! And we get to walk on it now. Come on. Oh, this is fucking cool. We're opening up. I feel like we're coming up to the uh, resolution of the story pretty soon. We've explored most of the map in the game so far. Zerp. Hmm. Ahead. 
Tickle. Did it work? Sure did. This is definitely the place. Let's go. Is this an A to B storyline or are there some side quests you can return to post main story? I don't think you can return to anything post main story, but they give you the opportunity to do side quests like mid game. Like right before we came here, we could have kind of cruised around and gotten some things done. But I think to do a lot of them, we're, we're missing something. So we need some kind of ability that allows us to fly from island to island because the islands that we haven't visited so far um, either have some thing blocking our path where it's just like we can't go further or there's no dock so we can't actually like land our ship there. So we just need to continue on until we get those things. Hmm. We have to fish at every fishing spot we see because we unlock rewards at our fisherman's hut that we have in our town. So every opportunity we have to get more fish, we got to get more fish. It's like a stingray. Whoa, shit. How oh, doggy. Let's go. Reel it in. Jump, I dare you, fish. I dare you. Cloud skate. Yeah, release it. We need one of these spiky things. It's like an urchin. Nope, I don't need a starfish. That's okay. That's okay. Motherfucker. Did it not make the hydrate noise again? In optimizing your life? But found out he has a recommendation on amount of water intake that's very uh like science based come on man array basically it turns out like the whole eight ounces of or eight ounces of water per day uh per hour is like kind of close but really you should be going for 80 ounces of water per day that's 2.4 liters if you're not the United States uh, in the first 10 hours of waking because your water consumption naturally changes uh, between like the beginning of the day and the end of the day. So you should really be aiming to get that uh, 80 ounces in the first 10 hours. It doesn't have to be like sequentially every hour, but if you get that, then you're kind of like optimally hydrated. And on top of that, if you end up doing any... Uh, physical activity, you should be doing, I forget the exact calculation, but there's a calculation for how much extra water you should drink while you're working out like every 15 to 20 minutes. I think it ends up being like seven ounces of water every 15 or 20 minutes. Hydrate or die. It's not a threat. It's a fact. Indeed. But yeah, it was kind of good to know. It was kind of good to know that. And then I've been trying to do that for the last few days and have noticed a big difference in energy levels. What do you know? All right, so there's a cloud kingdom. What do we got over here? Air Elemental Skyland. That sounds like a theme park. I know this isn't where we're supposed to go. Blocker. All right, well, blocked immediately. Sounds like a theme park. Air, Ele Air Elemental Skyland sounds sick as hell. Mm. Yeah, drink uh, drink all your water at the beginning of the day. You have to piss like crazy while at your work, while you're at work, but you won't have to get up in the middle of the night and pee. That's huge. I've really enjoyed not even being thirsty at night. Well, I was thirsty as hell last night, probably because I was drinking and had an edible. Whoa. Who would have thought, huh? You know what it is that you seek out here? An audience. What? There's a council thing. I think. Let's look around. Sounds like a Skylanders zone. Seems like it. I never played Skylanders. Nor... Whoa! Feet! Bro? Uh, hi. Small visitors. Did Luana mend the connection at last? 
can you imagine how tiny this place would be for somebody that big? That's insane. I wish I could use the laughing cabbage during the work week. Yeah, man. It it can mess with you. I didn't expect that teleport. I found question pack number six. We've got to go back to the quiz master at some point. If you need your rest, I have a small corner for visitors your size. <laughs> cool. Where's everything your size? Because it seems like y'all are really squeezing in down here. Uh, Yeah, no, we're good. We're totally good. Don't be a stranger now. And again, our band is here before we are. And I am very suspicious. Bro, I sunk an unreasonable amount of time in Skylanders as a kid. Do tell. I know nothing about the game, except that it was popular and I recognize the name. I think like one of these streams, we're just gonna like cruise through and just do the wheels champion track. Little ones, are you going to meet the council? If so, I wish you luck. They could be very difficult. Cool, vote of confidence, love it. <laughs> Thumb their feet, that's cute. What's up? Hey, can I talk to you? Hi. Hi. Hey. I can see you. Don't worry. That's... That's pretty dope. A part of me, I just had to see. It just had to see if we could jump. Oh, Cloudy Shard. These are going to be... Story items. Okay. You don't have anything to say to me? Fine. Whatever. Little did we know, all these giants here, they all wear skirts. Oh, they don't have any underwear on. Rainbow conch. You guys see it? To the right? Oh, it just disappeared. Oh my god, I think I was right. Who demands an audience? Uh, present yourself. I'm the one demanding audience. We can hear you just fine. No need to shout. Whoops. Name. Carl. Title. What? Title. His title is Warrior Cook. Yeah, that's kind of how everybody knows you. You wanna? Mumble, mumble. You had Skylander game pieces similar to Nintendo Amiibos. They were honestly the precursor to Amiibos, but that's not important. You have to put the Skylander character pieces on this giant light-up plug-in dock that was hooked up to your Wii slash DS. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think that's why I heard about it. I had a lot of funny moments. I bet there was a lot of content creators making content about it during the time, too. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Warrior Cook. It's our understanding that you are on borrowed time. I am, and I have a request. And speak. It's for my friends here. I want you to grant them access to the Sea of Stars. What? Mumble, mumble. Do you understand what you were asking of us? Absolutely. And who will vouch for you? Vouch? I don't know. I thought we could just... I will. A lot of children's game content creators did play it at the time. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Great Eagle, you honor us with your presence. Tell us then, do they possess the key? Yes, they have reclaimed the Vespertine. Oh shit, the Vespertine is the key. Do they possess the strength? Yes, 
Luana and Solon have awoken. Their wish is to accept this final gift from their friend and complete their journey. Do they possess the will? Thrive. How did she get here? Determination. Who is Sarai? It's not fucking yo whatever her name was, because we met her. God damn it, it didn't make the sound again. Nate, I'm going to take my computer and throw it out the fucking third story window that I'm on right now. I'm just going to throw it out. It won't help anything. And I'll feel horrible after, but man, it would it'd feel great watching it crash to the ground. I think it was also an Xbox 360, but I could be wrong. Could be. Uh, we deem this group of travelers satisfactory. This leaves only the matter of the deed. What does the warrior cook intend to offer in exchange for his friend's passage? I hope you have a plan. Garl's like, I don't run with plans. He doesn't... Garl's not the type of dude to have a plan. Period. I will wake the sleeper. You'd bring total destruction to this world. What makes you believe we would accept such a proposition? Don't worry. I'll make it friendly again. The Elder Mist once told me that I might soothe a long-tormented soul. This is what he meant. I'm certain of it. Mumble, mumble. That is a tall order. What is your plan? The runes in the Moorlands. I wasn't sure at first, but now I know what they meant. There are no more ovates. How then? I will complete the ritual of the elements by cooking with them. Impossible. Feel great for the half second while it's airborne. I get a, a feeling immediately after it would be eternal sense of dread one feels when they drop their phone and have the Schrodinger's cat moment waiting to see if the screen is cracked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that feeling sucks the balls. <laughs> like a really bad drop. You're like, well, you're kind of like running over your history in your head. I did get a good case. But then I didn't want to do the screen protector because it makes the screen feel weird and there's always bubbles. It's probably fine, right? It didn't look like it fell on the front. We agree to entertain your plan. How will you use water? Magic do to instantly grow the crops I'll need. Sea monsters are extinct. Magic dew will not manifest without an enchanted scale. Don't worry, I know just the place to find one. How about fire then? Natural heat from a volcano without a name. Preposterous, the lava monster would kill you instantly. It's okay, my friends are pretty strong. Earth. The volcano will be terraformed by magic, so I can use its summit as a giant oven to bake my creation. And I suppose you know just the wizard. Sure do. And that volcano will finally have a name. Kiln Mountain. Don't push your luck, kid. Mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble. We like the name. That leaves the final element. How does wind come into play? We will capture Zephyr in a bottle. When my creation is complete, I will let it carry the scent to the sleeper's nostrils. And why do you require a volcano-sized oven? Because I will bake the biggest loaf of bread the world has ever seen. <laughs> and what makes you believe that it will be enough to make the sleeper friendly again? Oh, come on. No one can be grumpy when they wake up to the smell of freshly baked bread. It's a stretch, bro. 
Sleeper's like, I have celiac. Is it Ezekiel bread? We find no valid counter argument. If you can truly soothe the sleeper, we will grant your friends access to the Sea of Stars. The volcano is now open. You will also need this. Schwamp. Got the wind key. Right on. Great job up there, Carl. Yeah, that went well. I have never seen the council so easily swayed. Okay, let's go back and plan this whole thing. Anybody else? No? Nobody wants to comment on uh, old Luana and Solon right here? No? Never leave the Sky Kingdom without your conch. Oh, you're a thrower. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> Fucking yeet and punty. Solid. Uh, great, one sec. All right. I don't have a lot of time, so we should split up. What? I'm staying with you. There's no time. Just trust me, okay? I'm in charge of Earth anyway. No danger on my path. And where is that? Remember Malcolmood? He promised he would come around if a good deed demanded his magic. Do you think he could terraform a volcano? Yep. Plus, the design I have in mind is pretty straightforward. Anyway, Zale, you're in charge of air. West of here is a skyland you can access using the wind key they gave us. Find Zephyr and bottle it up. Consider it done. Valir, you've got fire. Go through the volcano and defeat the lava monster. Then we can redirect the heat and terraform the summit into a giant kiln. Got it. Sry, that leaves water. After dropping Valir off of the volcano, get Hortense to take you back to the Sea of Nightmare. But please don't kill Hydralian. We only need one scale. Okay. Once you have the scale, just take it to Teeks in Mirth. The villagers will come together to grow the harvest crops. Get as much as you can on the Vespertine and meet us at the volcano. Well, that'll be Kill Mountain by then, I guess. Understood. So, first, those who will use the boat. Malir and Sarai, please stand in front of Punty there. All right. What about me? Oh, uh, well, I assumed you weren't allowed to help. This matter isn't related to a dweller. I am free to choose. Uh, okay. Uh, well, four, minute, four elements are assigned, but I guess you can join one of the teams. There won't be any danger on my path, though, so who else do you want to help? John, all, all three. He's like AI, self-replicating. This guy is good. So good. Okay, Valir, now say Kukar. Kukar. <laughs> Fucking Punty, that's Punty for you. Holy shit. Whoa. Shadow Clone Jutsu! Pretty cool, huh? Alright, Zale. I'll see you over Kiln Mountain once we have everything. Stay safe, Carl. You bet. Cough, cough. I'm alright, don't worry. x -tole. It'd be funny if he's like, oh shit, I just kicked him without remembering to do the stomp for the ball. So he just like obliterates somebody. That'd be pretty fucked. Also funny. The Skyland is west of this village. Lead the way. Da 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 
Okay. We're just gonna... Eh, fuck it. We can save on the way. Hmm. Okay, that takes us back to the beginning. Cool. Giant-ass sky people. Living in their sky realm. Alright, cool. So we just need to capture a Zephyr. No big deal. Oh, hell yes. We found this crystal before. So now we've got something to open it. Zephyr's in there, but we'll need something we can shatter the crystal. Let's explore a bit. Was this a braidzard? More like a an edel beadzard. All right. Living on a literal gym. Wait, I feel like these giant cloud people were real. Living in a cloud area would be a pain. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly, right? They're so big, and all the platforms that they have are so tiny they could barely fit two feet on them. It'd be horrible. Uh, okay, sick. What are we doing? What do we got? We got abeyance. We got regular attacks. All right, let's just do a regular attack. Pow. Resistant, of course. Oh, vulnerable to blades. Good to know. Torblado. Yeah, that fucked me up. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh, wait. Resistant to that type of magic. Let's do this type. I'll get the timing of that someday. Alright, let's fuck these guys up. There we go. Da 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 da. What are you? What are you? Okay. Moon always comes first. Welcome, Valir. How dare you? Busting out the sling rabbits already, huh? Timing of that one's kind of tricky because it's not about like when anything happens to the enemies. It's all about what happens when fucking Zale sticks his, sky, his sword up in the air. And this ability, I have no idea. No, literally no idea how uh, Abeyance is timed out. No clue. Okay, let's see if uh, this type of damage works against Sling Rabbits. You guys like poison? Vulnerable. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, Zale, we got shit. One of those right there.
We got a combo? We have no combo attacks together? That is lame. Oh well, yeah, I guess we're doing abeyance. Let's go. That's crazy. It's crazy they don't have any combo attacks together. Also noted that does up to three arcane hits. That's pretty sick. Okay, Hardy Stew. Oh, neither? Okay, I was wondering why I couldn't see what's going on with their, uh, their health. It's because neither of these two has an abacus. How do we not have an ability together? That's insane. We're crazy. Pebble Arc. Fuck. Dude, that fucked me up. Maybe one day I'll start timing these attacks and then we can actually win fights. About time. Bones. All right, I know we just ate our last stew. We should probably cook some stew. We not make moon cradle fish pie. Uh, what are we missing? Fish? We're low on fish. All right, just threw a bunch of fish back. An abacus. Yeah, it's a it's a, a special item. Well, shit. I guess we'll make some mushroom soups then. Yeah, it's an item we got at the very beginning of the game. Super useful. It goes in this slot. And any items that you equip, like, that have this, like, yellow bangle symbol on them, the bonuses apply to everybody in your party. So, pretty sick. Combo points build 10% faster. Whole lot of use that is if we don't have any combos together at all. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. What are we supposed to do over there? like that. go last one zerp okay cool and there's gonna be something else we point this did that hurt me oh, okay good sound effect freaked me out uh yeah we don't have anything to put in those what the hell yeah i think we can point that laser like to the west somewhere and probably use it to get access to that treasure chest come on Zale and Rashan. Now we finally got a combo skill. Conflagrate. That sounds sick. 
Combos, conflict rate, arcane and solar magic, damage, multi-hit, hell yeah. Three villain chiefs, that's Christ, that's a lot. Hang on, bro. Let me save the day with the power of my handy dandy outdated calculation device. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not only that, I mean, you just imagine that they're looking at an enemy and they're like, cool, you look like about uh, 75, plus or minus four. Add three for the teeth. Hmm. Okay. We'll call it. You have 85 hit points. Dude, that reminds me. Have you guys seen the trailer for uh, the three body problem? I think they're doing a show. I don't remember what network it's going to be on, but sci-fi, it's going to be totally sick. It's going to be absolutely insane. Um, let's see, what do we got going on in here? Anything? What are we doing here? What is this? Let me do something. Anyway, Three Body Problem, sci-fi book. It's a trilogy that I read, I don't know, a few years back when I was doing a book club with some people and completely changed how I think about aliens in real life. Yeah, it talked about the dark forest theory, which did make its way into uh, Bob's Burgers for an episode once. It was kind of funny. Okay, skills. Let's do a dash strike. Alright, should have done the other one first. Nailed almost all of those. Skills, abeyance, all you dudes. Yep. It's on Netflix and it's out. Hell yeah. I uh, highly recommend watching it. I'm going to check it out. I don't have fucking Netflix right now. The first trailer was fantastic. The first trailer was so good because they left kind of like the main premise of the show of mystery. And then the second trailer totally gave it up. Like you're kind of like, oh, cool. I I kind of understand what's going on here. I think, I think you'll still get a lot out of watching it, I'm hoping, but we shall see, we shall see. The story was amazing though. And at least from the trailer, it looked like they did a good job with the uh, like the whole premise of the first book. All right, let's Petrichor. Two turns left for him. Which one is it? Is it you or you? It's hard to tell when they're all stacked up on top of each other. Okay, good. Finally, finally. Armed artists haven't heard much hype around it beyond those trailers. Yeah. I I hope it's good. Like, I really do hope it's good. Like, I'm hyped about it, personally, but I, it's like a Chinese author, so I don't know if it got, like, if at least the book-wise, if it got much traction around here at all. I'm not, like, big in the book world at all. Hit me up for Netflix. Oh, sick. That'd be awesome. Um, So, fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. Like, I really do hope it's solid. The book was so good. Like, I'm, I'm trying hard to talk about it without, like, giving it away because there are <laughs> for sure spoilers where, like, if you if you get the spoiler, it kind of does, like, ruin the story, at least to a certain degree. Oh! Oh, we finally get to do it. Steer fire column with left stick. Uh, yeah...
Yo, okay, that combo skill's badass. Aw, oh, man, guys, I don't want to have to go back all the way. Okay, we got a triangular slab. Let's get this one, too. Probably should have healed. Yep, this is it. Let's do mushroom soup. Show that I started watching last night was, uh, fuck, now I'm not gonna be able to remember the name of it. A far or fear or something like that. Like MGM. From. It's called From. Have you guys seen From? It's a it's a horror show that has like a like a like kind of a purgatory element to it with some really nasty looking monsters. I'm four episodes in. I'm still very intrigued by it. You know, jazzo has been watching it too, and she has a pretty big gripe with it, and it's that like. We're four episodes in, and we haven't really talked much about the monsters yet. So, kind of missing that part. I think they're resistant against poison. Yeah, that sucks. Dude, do any of your skills do poison and this? No? Okay. Fine. Anyway, from it's a show that has two seasons out. It's on MGM Plus. Like I said, there's a purgatory element to it. Basically, a family is traveling. And, you know, they've got some interpersonal stuff going on, as they do. But uh, they're driving in an RV and they come across this fallen log in the road that blocks their path. And so once they turn away from the fallen log, they come to a little town. And that little town, well, the little, everybody in the little town already knows what's going on with these people. And that they are now stuck in that same little town with everybody else who's in that little town. And there are monsters. And the monsters are pretty dope. Oh, shit. I forgot we had these Crustads. Totally forgot about the Crustads. Oh, well. Sagnal slabs. We got a couple of slabs. How'd they get into Purgatory? It all has to do with that, that log. And, like, they haven't revealed exactly how the whole thing works. They've spent four episodes really kind of, like, digging deep into the characters and the character backstories, interpersonal elements. They kind of are doing like the opposite of what The Walking Dead did, if you ever watched The Walking Dead. So in The Walking Dead, they kind of introduce the zombies, the monsters, like first thing. Like, it's just kind of a panic moment. Like, oh shit, what's going on? Like, there's there's zombies everywhere. And you kind of learn about how the zombies work immediately. Um, And then as you get further along in the show, they dig deeper into the interpersonal elements, talk about how different like people and factions work against each other, like, What's racism like? Introduce Merle, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, this show was like, hey, here's like a sneak peek of monsters in this whole purgatory thing, but none of the characters except for one are like really trying to dig deep into what exactly is going on. We have little little teasers of backstory. We have little teasers of like little little plot or lore hooks but we haven't followed up on them. Like none of the characters are invested in it except for one guy. And the one guy who is invested is a total fucking douchebag. So you're not like, oh, I, love him. I really want this guy to succeed. It's like, okay. I mean, if we're gonna find out about what's going on, it's gotta be through somebody and it may as well be you, I guess. So 
There you go, armed artist. I haven't given away anything that doesn't happen in like the first 15 minutes of the show. So, yeah. I don't know. If you check it out, let me know. Like, let me know what you think. I'll... MGM Plus had like a, like, you know, one of those seven day free trials. I think we got it through Amazon Prime. So, I plan on binging two seasons of a show in the next six days now. Uh, okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right. That wasn't what I expected. An assassin's pin. Defense minus 20, attack plus 10. Dude, that's a big trade. All right. Maybe we start just dumping points for Sarai into physical attack and see what happens. There we go. Tightrope land for us and the giants. Ooh, sky armor. Don't mind if I do. It's down here. Okay. Let's start out with Rashawn. We'll do an abeyance. Sick. Okay. I didn't even realize that guy was attacking. Ugh. Hoping it's this one. Nope. It's the other one. Son of a bitch. So that's one thing I don't like about stacking enemies on top of each other is you can't tell which locks are on which enemy. I'm just taking those to the chin. Okay, no reason to do an ebb. Okay, homie back here is weak to poison. Okay, spin, then lightning. Fuck. I think these guys are weak versus blade weapons. Jesus. There we go. Kind of wish I had an abacus. Kind of wish I had an abacus. Right, let's do a healing light. Do a couple of them. Cool. Going up, I guess. Three more of these guys. When you do, when you knock out, uh, you know, the icons for a lock, for breaking a lock, you get so many combo points, which is fantastic. But with these two characters, the only combo attack I have takes three levels of combo point, which is like really, really difficult to get. Or not like difficult, it just takes a long time. All right, I think it's on you. Fuck, wrong again.
Like, there's no indicator for, like, which enemy I'm pointing at. I mean, the arrow points, obviously, but, like, matching it up with the lock is really difficult. Again, wrong one. Use abeyance on all three. At least we get something. And every time you take down the locks, you do reduce the uh, the amount of damage that they deal with their spell. Jesus, guys. Party recovers 80 HP and 5 MP. Let's do this. Good enough. Finally blocked one. Holy shit. All right, let's see what we can do about taking down at least one of them. There we go. Go. Just end it. End it. What a delicious hearty stew. I mean, on the plus side, those enemies are worth a lot of XP. There's that. Take what I can get, right? Okay. So. Hmm. Sweet, sweet booty fruit. All right, so the one with a longer chain goes first, typically. being able to get the initial attack. That way we can get some balls in play. All right. At least we'll get a multi-hit. A 101 on the main target is pretty good. Oh, we might die. Why do they have different timings? Why? Okay, another Crustad. Apparently we have to heal after every attack. Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, let's... Yeah, I'd really like to hit this guy before he attacks. Do you think Mist heals the party? 12 MP is a lot. Resistant to blades. could hear me talking to my dog, but a thousand percent was talking to him. Uh, cool. Didn't actually mean to hit that, but that's cool. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, okay. your cape. I happen to know a uh, guy who can wear his azure cape. I was going to say necromancer. He's not a necromancer. He's an alchemist. He just kind of looks like a necromancer. Ooh. Oh. Silly wabbit. Honestly, Wabbit, you can go fuck yourself with your immediate attack. Yeah, that's good enough. Blocked! Almost blocked. That does so much damage. It's stupid. It's stupid. You guys would be in so much trouble if I actually had my friends with me. Yeah, I can't believe they all go in one turn. Their initiative rolls were stupid. Yeah, fuck you. <clears throat> See, do we got a hearty stew? We do have a hearty stew. Let's give him a hearty stew. Ah, finally. One that I can break. Now they all three go. Oh, block two in a row. My god. It's been so long. My guess is they're resistant to this. You sons of bitches. Fine. Hey, at least we knocked out one of them. Damn. At least he did. I kind of forget that Rashawn's like standard attack is uh like a we any idea what this is a highly refined crystal its energy matches the one containing zephyr could it be used to break the other one Without a doubt, but it won't budge. Hmm. So if I extract the essence and frequency... Zale, do you have any, uh, any magic item with a proper handle? Hmm. How about the coral hammer? Let's see it. Yeah, this will work. Thanks, Rashad. You got Cobalt Hammer. All right. The Coral Hammer has been upgraded. You can now break blue crystals with it. Okay, well, that's pretty awesome.
Hell yeah. Oh good. I was hoping that would take me all the way back to the campfire. Uh, Cause we ate a bunch of our food. Crustads are sick. A couple more hearty stews. And then we sit. What are we low on? Apples. Okay. So on to Zephyr. We'll save it and then it's Zephyr time. Overwritten? Hell yeah, it's overwritten. Okay. Uh, no. We don't need to go that way. We did this puzzle, right? Already? Done, finished. All right, Zephyr, here we go. This seems like it's going to be one of the hardest parts of the game. Just kind of like not having everybody in the party. So, how do we capture wind? Leave that to me. I've farted in many Tupperwares and tortured many siblings with it. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta target somebody with how smart is. IQs for yourself, like exclamation point IQs for yourself, and then how smart is it for somebody else. Hey! Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> That's it for us, then. I hope the others are okay. We'll see. All right, these two are going to be a cool. Honestly, that tracks. 24%? Yeah, that tracks. I just throw this pearl into the water where you fought Stormcrawler. Got an immaculate pearl. And here's a little something for the fight. Best of luck. Oh, good. Sarai and Rashan learned combo skill Arcane Barrage. Shit, yeah. Let's take a look at that. Only two. Having... The <laughs> Dude, that last one's pretty rough. Not being able to uh, do any combo abilities until you hit three combo points. Nice, so it's Arcane and Blunt. Multiple Arcane hits on a single target that also delays its turn. Oh, sick. Okay, so it's Arcane with the mix of uh, Disorient. That's going to be an awesome combination. I really want to know Sarai's backstory. I hope we get to learn more. I mean, if we get it all during a side quest, it'd be totally worth it to do the side quest before we finish this game. Come on, buddy. There we go. Uh, yeah. Dude, I love that grapple over to the, uh, the net and jump onto it. Let's see. Swan Song of the Warrior Cook. Here we go. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh god, that sound creeps me out. Okay, three turns. Alright, we can knock out all the venoms right now.
Clink, 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 clink. Right in its nose hole, too. Rough. Uh, we got a tail that just appeared. The tail is in play. Tail active counter whip. Oh, shit. Okay, so when the tail's out, we should just focus fire on the tail. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's get some MP back. Oh. Do we have counter whip? Okay, let's get some more disorient up in here. Or no, venom flurry, I mean. Ooh. Yes. Venom flurry. Here we go. Boom. We just hit two combo points. All right, we're blocking pretty good right now. Ooh, I don't want to waste it just yet. Because delaying the turn after we just broke the lock is pretty much worthless. Yep, counter whip. I got it. See, now we do Arcane Barrage. Press X to kick. Oh, we gotta time these. Oh, that was sick! Okay, that's alright. It actually gives us some time to heal up. Uh, what is the thing that brings somebody back? Brings party recover. Parfait. There it is. Cool. Yep, and we'll do a hearty stew. And then I think we can take out that lock with just two regular attacks. There it is. Dude, I'm... I'm guessing that counter whip is so much preferable to getting hit with whatever spell that is trying to save up right there. Try such a badass. Let's get a Petrichor for both of us. Not bad. What does your ultimate do? It does poison. Perfect. Interesting that he is the Great Eagle. No, no more of your music knowledge, Nate. It's just an idiophone. But do you not agree that it's a creepy sound? Like, do you, do you recognize its place in the creepy sound rotation? Like it's commonly used in... things? Horror movies? Scary games? Creepy shit? I found it in the horror section of uh, the sound effects album that I use. Not album, but collection. disorient in there. Boom. Let's see, combo. We'll 
let's get some MP back. Focus on that for a minute. Get some more balls on the field. Hey, hey, Tail. I took care of you, buddy. Yeah, we're going to disorient. Wait, the one does disorient. Ah, combo disorients. Okay, press X to kick. I got it this time. Hails, yeah. Ooh, I fucking mistimed the hell out of that one. All right, let's see if we can get two, two potion hits. Nope. All right, give me one more time. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus. Phase shift the tail. Flip and stab. 128 damage, dude. That's good. That's pretty good. Getting 7 MP back to Sarai is huge. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Seahorse, what were you doing again? Getting barraged? Oh, that's right. You're getting barraged like crazy. Ducks to suck, bro. All we need is one scale. Garl was right. This scale will produce magic dew. Let's go back to Mirth. Time for the Great Harvest. And what are the shafts for? Oh, there's going to be a whole lot of wheat. But you see, if we just drop it all in there, it should get ground up on its way down and leave us with flour at the bottom. Grinding on volcanic stone? Yep, we're feeding a fire breather here. It is a big challenge. I don't know if I can do this. But I will try, for you. Thanks, Malcolmood. That's all I ask. So we go now? Yeah, Vlir will have cleared the volcano by the time we get there. All right, Vlir. Volcano's been opened. Now to clear the place so Garl and Malkabood can build their thing. Right behind you. Did we have any new equipment to... <gasps> Excuse me. Put on. I guess it's a 76. Woof, dude. That's a hit. Hmm. I doubt we'll be fighting any undead. And yeah, we got our abacus back. That's something. Okay, here we go. Ooh, shroomies. Free shroomies? Can't turn those down. Mm -mm. Okay, digging the music. Digging the music in here already. Ooh, what are these? Little draklings? Firecrackers! All right, let's do a Crescent Arc and just see if Blunt does any. Because that's, yep, resistant to Blunt, of course. How about Poison? Okay, they're, 
Their heads are flashing. <laughs> that seems bad. All right, how about just straight up moon energy? Okay, both their horns are flashing like crazy. Let's see what happens. Oh, resisted. Sick. Okay. Better get XP from this. That's annoying. Oh. There's so many treasure chests. Let me back up. Well, that's a huge upgrade right there. But does it do made from hardened magma? Okay. So no extra damage or anything. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We'll have to bail onto that little, like, thin spot here. What's up? Oh, sweet. Wait, what else is there up there? Anything? Nope. Ah. I recognize this place in horror cinema. I've played it a dozen, <laughs> a dozen and a half times. It kind of loses its magic once you understand the method behind the madness. I bet. That's why you keep being like, wait, you're creeped out by the, the fucking fourth symphony that Beethoven played out of his asshole? God, like I played that out of my asshole 17 times. <laughs> Whereas I'm like, Beethoven's asshole is terrifying. All right. Uh, those guys are resistant to everything that Valir does. That's awesome. Okay. We'll just do a normal attack and see what's up. How are you against poison? Not resistant. Try this out. I haven't used it yet. I got rid of two poisons. That may as well suck in two balls. There you go. Worth it. Damn. Okay, so it's they jump, jump, strike. Got it. Just got to get that timing down, you know? Okay, are you guys weak against abeyance at least? That would be pretty nice. They're not. Excuse me, sir. It's Beethoven's seventh concerto. Rondo a la asshole. My mistake. My mistake. Ah, thank you for the bits. See, now Twitch is doing its job. Thank you, Twitch, for just doing the one thing that I asked you to do. I think this is only the second C4 energy drink I've ever tried. The first one I liked, but just kind of noted, like, watermelon's not my thing. Kind of funny because, dude, I used to like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, and I think this actually just tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Green, they are raw coffee beans, okay. Okay, they're a good source of vitamins for decreased cholesterol and blood pressure. Well, all right. Turns out my uh, my cholesterol and blood pressure are actually pretty good. I actually don't know about cholesterol, but blood pressure is good. Should find out soon. I just got like... I forgot about the backup attack. 
I just got a uh, blood work done. I just kind of checking on things. I'm really curious about how my numbers end up. I'm always curious about that stuff. I think these guys resistance against poison. If I remember. Yep. No. Damn you, follow up attack. All right. So we can take out two hammers at least. And you can do. Remove a random lock on the target, plus one lock if time. We can just do an abeyance and guarantee it. How about that? Tectonics. Okay. Arcane and lunar magic damage to all targets. I think we should just go ahead and hardy stew it. I heard someone say A1C is a big one to watch after 40. I don't know. Could be. I have no idea. Mm, okay, we're going to Petrichor. I don't know when I'm supposed to time that one. Okay, I remembered the follow-up attack. I just fucked it up. So let's arcane moves. I can't believe that guy goes in one turn. What a piece of shit. Locked. Damn it. Let's see how this does. What is A1C? Hey, the dog, do you know what A1C is? Because now I'm curious. Yeah, arcane moons, get fucked. Thank you. Call that good. Any, uh, no campfire? Maybe this is a, maybe this is a campfire over here. We calling it a camp? Nope. We're not. We're not calling that a campfire. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of donuts lately. What the fuck are these? What are you supposed to be? Hmm. There we go. Found one rainbow conch. Go. Here we go. It's uh, used to measure the likelihood of getting adult diabetes and how to avoid it. Eh. I think, at least, like, lifestyle wise, it's pretty clear how to avoid it. <laughs> I think most of us know that one. It's the doing it that's the hard part. Let's get this treasure chest before we continue on any further. Found a volcanic armor. Ooh, that's a big upgrade right there.
Whoops, accidentally broke the tightrope. Okay, you guys suck. Not a fan. Yeah, we're gonna Lunar Shield. How about that, you magnificent douche? That's right. They're resistant against every attack that Valir could possibly send their way. Oh, now wait a tick. He gets arcane. I thought he got more poison. So he gets arcane when he sucks in the balls. I hate you, man. I hate you, little, little punk. I guess we'll do a Chadre. I just checked early to mid 40s is the average age to get adult diabetes. Bleh. No thanks. No thanks. Thirty-three. You know what sucks is we just went through all that, and now we're gonna get zero XP. Because they offed themselves. Pretty lame. All right, well, here we go. I get blocked twice. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's just do a real normal attack. See what happens. How come sometimes it goes over to the other enemies and sometimes it doesn't? I don't understand. Get booked. something. I don't get any XP from the other little guys that blow up, but I got some from fighting the drill dudes, at least. Oh, look. They both have 181 HP. Interesting. I've eaten all the foods. Okay, so what's the deal? We've got to get Probably three of these in a row. Yep. I already grabbed the mushrooms in the corner. Good. Jump, jump. Hey. Hey. God, I hate those guys so much. The little douche is just waiting on the top of the ladder for me, too. All right, I'm going to try my best to grapple him the second I get up here. Uh, hello? Hey. Hey. Mm.
get shielded. Yeah, I think it's number of hits that those guys take that determines, like, when they explode. Okay. Well... Hundred and nine HP, dude. We can't take those dudes out before they go fucking kamikaze on us. So, just is what it is. It's almost like may as well just do as many hits to them and get them to explode as soon as possible and just you know deal with it. Um, okay, cool. So we can rocket that thing down. What's up here? Anything? What is the purpose of that spot? Probably just in case somebody knocked the ball into the corner. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure that's safe to immediately jump on. Saving. Items, we got a parfait, peach strudel. The game saving right there just kind of, you know, maybe a little paranoid. Oh, cool. Carl was just at our outpost and mentioned you'd be coming. I came after grabbing what I could. Do you need anything? Cypress cork is pretty sick. Um. No, I think. I think we good. These things sell for a decent amount, but not that much. Not enough for me to want to sell them. All right, let's cook some food. Damn. Okay, parfait. We could use one more of those. We'll get four hearty stews, especially since we don't have enough room for, uh, we don't have any like uh, moon cradle fish that we can do anymore. Do two mushroom scrambles. It doesn't do a lot of HP, but just having that extra MP is pretty nice. Okay. And then we'll do a couple of mushroom soups. AOE heals. All right, we cooked, we rested, we'll save, and then we move along. Pop. And pop. And pop again. Can we jump down that one? Okay, just seeing if it led to a treasure chest. You gotta try those things, you know? You just never know when you're just gonna pop into a treasure chest. You, you just you just gotta try. Okay, this looks like a boss. Uh, let's just double check our equipment here. Okay, so we've got Moonstone Bracer for magic attack plus 10, Lunar Shield costs minus 2 MP. Yep, that's huge. Evergreen Leaf. Okay, we could go for additional magic damage. We could do Assassin's Pin for a hell of a lot of attack. A heart belt for a little bit. Ring, ring! Uh, alright, alright, alright. Max MP plus 5. Yeah, that's... that's fucking sick. Okay. That'll get us to... 
plus five. Uh... All right, let's give that a try. This is our target. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Magma, crab, gorilla. This will be vulnerable to your uh, Luna magic. Okay, cool. Well, let's Lunar Shield it up. Start the battle off right. We'll get some balls in play. Not resistant to poison. That's good. Fuck these guys so much. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just do a normal attack. All right, and if we do an ebb. Advance is the move. Tremor. Okay, well, now those guys blow up. I hate those guys so much. So much. Okay, let's Petrichor. And then we'll focus on some damage with Valir. Moonerang it is. I hate those enemies so much. I hope he doesn't do any more sun or summons this entire battle. Because I just can't deal. I just can't deal, man. Do 60. Nice. Okay, let's hit the abeyance. Hopefully we get enough for another combo point in there. Combo Arcane Moons. Oh. Well, what are you going to do? Well, there's the summon. Oh, what? You get two... All right. Did I mention you're the worst? Okay. Arcane Moons. That'll do a little bit of something right there. Probably should have done a Vance. In hindsight. Yep. Fuck it. All right, what do we got? Tremor? Yep. We, I think we get healed when we do this. If I remember right. 
If we don't, then I may very well be fucked. Schwang. Yeah, that heal is huge. Get the balls in play. Okay, let's just hit it. Okay, did I get a block? There we go. Balls. All right, abeyance. Yep. Yeah, all you guys blow up now? Mm-hmm. And it just takes so long. Oh my god. I mean, damn, they did do 60 damage with all that. Jesus. Fight fire with Lunar. What's an interesting achievement. Level up. All right. Get some extra HP. We're getting plus four this round. That's sick. Okay. Yeah, let's get magic up a little bit. Physical attack. We're investing. We really got to catch up and attack on a uh, old Zale here. Sean, how about you? Ooh, that's a lot of extra MP. Nice. Thanks for the help, Sean. Naturally. Now to wait for the others. It's everybody, right? We all did our jobs. And so we must come together for this final wish. Bergarl! <laughs> okay, I guess they... <laughs> the villagers did build the farm, but at first I was like, well, way to go. Make a Teeks and fucking Sarai do everything. Sarai, you may not want to stand there. Look at all that wheat. Sweet, sweet, a uh, wheat. All right, loading up the ship. Great job, everyone. That there hold be full to the brim. A valiant effort. Time to set sail. All aboard. Wait for me.
If you guys notice, it takes my brain like more than a couple seconds to shift to a new voice. More than a couple seconds. Kiln Mountain. Totally! And the face on Zale, too. <laughs> Are you gonna die after this, Carl? Zale! So, you got Zephyr? Right here. How about Malcolm Moon? He's still working on it. We'll need time anyway. Lots of crops in the Vesper team. Right. That's all going. Ah. Garl. I'm okay, Valir. Just need a moment here. <laughs> you take it easy, okay? We'll carry the crops. But. You're right. That's probably best. Man. You know he's in a bad spot if that's what he said, because Garl is like the go getterest go getter of all time. I'll take care of it. You spend some time with your friend. I. Uh, thank you, Sarai. That's one way to. Gah! Take it easy, girl. Wow, this really hurts. I hope I'll be able to... We're with you no matter what. We didn't come this far for nothing. I'll see this through. I think I have finished. Yeah? Are you happy with the result? Um, why do you ask? I did for you. Well, are you happy you did it for me? Yes, but I hope you like. I'm sure he will, Malcolm Hood. I remember you. You can look to him. Fucking Malcolm Hood. He's a bro. Wow, look at that grinder. Yes! Yes. Yes. So the crops go in there. Shuck them in. Flower fields up here for mixing. After a little kneading, bring it up there. Need some more. Let it sit with the heat and... Good job, Malcolm Hood. It's perfect. I only follow your plan. Guys, this is going to be huge. Can we help? Of course. Sick. Yeah, you need the shit out of that dough. If anybody's just tuning in, Garl's in a bad spot right now. He's halfway between the physical realm and the ethereal realm because, uh... <laughs> he got shot directly by the Fleshmancer in retribution for the Alchemist uh, intervening, which was really Sarai. The Alchemist didn't really do much of anything except for stand around. And Garl paid the price. All right, Malcolm Hood, time for the heat. Perfection. Now we let it bake. Here we go. It comes and goes. Like, right now, I feel just fine. Let's just share more memories, okay? It's all I want. Oh, I know. Remember when I brought you cookies while you were at the academy? Yeah, you never told us how you managed to make the flying platform move. With a monocle. 
Huh? What is a magic monocle? Oh no, I used it to focus sunlight directly onto the room. It made sense, so I just went forward and it worked. The beam wasn't very strong though. That must have taken hours. Sure did. Eight, in fact. <laughs> no way. Yep. Well, eight hours of sunlight to be exact. That that exclu <laughs> That's excluding the night I spent halfway up in the air. <laughs> How did you not get caught? Oh, I got caught, but I was already out of reach by the time Grant saw me. I wish I could have seen her face. Believe me, I wish I hadn't. <laughs> oh, Garl. Ooh, there it is. And then... Ah, uh, God. <laughs> Garl! Ah. Uh, I think my time's almost up. Don't say that. I have to... I have to finish this. Valir, please tell Malcolmud to cut the lava flow. Little lava proof snakes gah Zael I need Zephyr now here hmm I hope this works and watch the scent being taken to the nostrils of the giant the sleeping serpent uh, Wake up, big friend. What the lovely blue eyes you have. Like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Was that fresh baked bread? Thank you, curious one, for this unprecedented act of goodness and generosity. Through your creation, the elements have soothed my long, tormented soul. Hey, any time. It's just bread, really. This marks a new beginning for me. If it is not too much to ask, would you be willing to give me a new name? I, uh... Sure. I still have a bit of time. I can do this. Okay, so what are your ambitions? My past was one of anger and destruction, but you have shown me the way to a higher purpose. I wish to honor your memory by becoming a devoted caterer. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice of you to say. <laughs> so, butler, huh? How about Sinclair? Like the dinosaur from the oil company? Nah, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I know. For this new life, I shall name you Wentworth. Wentworth. Once again, I thank you. Never have I encountered such a caring soul. I understand your time is almost up. Is there anything I can do to repay your kindness? There is one thing, yes. For my final journey, I'd like to fly on your back with my friends. It would be my honor and privilege. Then please take us to Moon Cradle. I want to be buried under the Celestial Willow. Garl.
Oh, this is sad. Carl, the sweet golden retriever friend. Gonna be a lot of just bitterness and anger left after he goes. He's really the glue that kept the group together. So, hey, we got to fly for a second time. That's pretty neat, huh? You should save your energy, girl. I'm okay. It doesn't hurt anymore. I'm just really sleepy. We'll be with you until the end. That line got me. I know. I'm so lucky. Oh. Hey, promise me one thing? Anything. I want you to use this gift. You'll travel across a sea of stars, whatever that is. We'll do it for you. I mean, someone has to kick Erlina's butt and teach the Fleshmancer a lesson. Might as well be you, right? We'll go and do that. Don't worry. Oh, and you'll keep cooking too, right? Use what I taught you. Every day. We'll miss you so much. Well, here, Sale, I can't thank you enough for everything. All those moments together, all the adventures. I couldn't have asked for better friends. I... Oh, fuck! are like you can see him tearing up and turning red yeah oh my god <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> just like that <laughs> oh i have to interact with you fucks while i'm having an emotional moment jesus Ugh. We are gathered here today to honor Garl, the warrior cook. Born in Moon Cradle, he chose a life of adventure and accomplished many deeds. From fighting alongside Solstice warriors to founding the peaceful town of Mirth, he even managed to soothe the sleeper. Yeah, you surely showed him in the end, son. Good work. Like a true pirate chef. This adventure won't be the same without you, pal. May he be remembered for his warm heart, his bravery, and his unrelenting smile. May he be remembered. Yeah, no shit, Valir. Carl, you really were the best of us. I miss you so much already. The world will hear the stories of your deeds for generations to come. This is my vow. Thank you for teaching me, Master Garl. I am glad you liked the kiln. Oh, this is so sad. It's been a couple of weeks already. Are we leaving anytime soon, Captain? We're giving Valir and Zael as much time as they need. Aye, it must hurt something awful. Their bond was a special one. Sure would hurt something fierce to lose one of our own. Bro, there was a scene earlier. I'm not sure if you were here, but there were... 10, not bullshitting, 10 characters whom I gave different fucking voices there at the same time. It was a nightmare for me. It was a nightmare. But you're right, Beltrade. Their friendship was something else. So, Captain, 
Any ideas for our next adventure? Yes. The time has come. Captain. Oh, how exciting. Oh, fucking Sarai's a badass. Still cheering up after a couple weeks, huh? I would be too. Okay, I'm going to say it. This is an Aerith level loss. This is an Aerith level loss to a character in a game. It's definitely more expected, but dude, it hurts just as bad. Woof. Still can't believe you spent all that time on the platform with just a monocle and a cookie jar. He sure was a loyal friend. The best. Clear? I think I'm ready. I've been thinking about Erlina. No matter what kind of flesh monster, monster she's become, we have to defeat her. Wherever she is, Carl sure held up his end of the bargain. The Sky Giant's Council will let us through, I suppose. Across the Sea of Stars, whatever that means. For Garl, then? For Garl. Dude, choke me up! Still! Uh, uh. With innocence lost and purpose reaffirmed, the powers of Luana and Solon started to awaken within Valir and Zael. Zale learns ultimate attack, Solon's Light, Salvation. Valir learns ultimate attack, Luna's Might, Retribution. Salvation and Retribution, huh? So, y'all ready to avenge your friend? We are. Let's go later. A couple things I want to do. First, more, first of them is P. That's number one. Then after that, hey, she see what I did there? That's number one. We'll leave it at that. Let's roll, Yolanda. Back to the Sky Council, then. We can go to the shrine right away if you want. Yeah, let's go. I hesitated for a second because I was thinking, should we go visit some more of those islands that we were at before? To kind of cruise around and do some side quest shit, but I don't think I don't think we have the abilities we need yet. You have returned. We are sorry about the passing of your friend. Our world has lost a kind soul indeed. Thank you. The sleeper has been soothed and has awoken. So it has. You would claim the reward then? Yes. We demand access to... We demand access to the Sea of Stars. Are you prepared for the voyage? We are. Mumble, mumble. Do they know what to expect? Oh, <laughs> we don't know what the Sea of Stars even is. It is the very passage you seek in order to see this journey through. It lies at the core of our world. The infinitely great within, the infinitely small. How do we get to it? We shall get to that in due time. First, all travelers must be registered. Please gather your group. Oh, 
<laughs> what is up with Sarai? I don't understand. Honorable counsel, if you could make an exception, I would like to go as Captain Cliche. My crew, they... We will allow it. Thank you. Okay, let's gather everyone and form a line. Dude, we got a lot of side characters coming with us on this quest. Oh, you can see the Celestial Serpent! You can see it moving around. You see that? Ah, that's it. Present yourselves, travelers. Lunar Monk, Valir. Next. Solar Blade Dancer, Zale. Next. Next. Pirate Captain Cliche. Next. I will travel across the Sea of Stars or my name is not Keenathan. Roll and name, please. Pirate Wind Mage Keenathan. Mumble mumble. What's up with Keenathan? What? The error must be on our end. We will disregard it next. Let's go, Valtrade. Pirate Quartermaster Jacko Valtrade. Next. <laughs> Pirate First Mate Yolanda Ernest. Well meaning demolition, busy lookout, practicality, anytime service, Fort Wall. Founder, next. <laughs> oh. Goes to navigator Hortense. Already cleared from a previous trip. Next. Traveling historian Atix. All clear. Luana. You are the leader of this group? Yes. We hereby grant you access to the Sea of Stars. Allow us. Mm, flying airship, maybe? Little flying airship action? Oh, shit! Okay! Oh! Hmm. The four sunken giants mark the entrance. Now go and sail away to where you are most needed. Thank you. We'll use this gift to bring about peace. Godspeed. Anything else to say to me? Uh, nope. Not at all. Okay. On we go. Bunch of tightrope walking giants. Yeah, let's go to Kukar. Uh, due west. Did we go down the hole? to the center of the world. Okay, everybody's healed up. 
What do we have here? We have Ant Bruiser and a Gugoon. Rivalier, right? Yeah. Uh, let's sunball this dude. If I remember, he's resistant to like everything. Yep. Okay, what are you weak against, my dude? That's moon ring. Maybe it's uh, moon power. So what? Uh, we tried arcane power. We tried lunar power. Neither of those worked. How about poison? There it is. Poison damage. Okay. Just do a regular attack with Rashawn. There we go. Oh man, I can't believe Garl died. <laughs> kind of killing me here. Yo, we got like a Minotaur? I haven't fought you before, dude. Gnusniku Acolyte. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We'll swap. We'll get Zale. Zale can do dash strike. I think that's our best use of stuff. Missed it. Thunder. At least I remember how to block that. Apparently not that. We've got arcane moons. Yeah, let's do that. I think it's just one hit, though. Ooh. We'll do arcane moons again! Make sure Zale gets his last attack in. More MP. There we go. 1920 XP. Not bad. All right, so we just keep going down, down, and down. Hey, Zombos. go. Dude, we fought so many of those zombies. Dicty six HP left. I eh, may as well use an abeyance. I think we have to time that one, like, 
just before the first uh, like electricity strike hits. No hopping down, no hopping down. Okay, okay, okay. Not much in the way of like side treasure chests or anything here. This is pretty direct move. No map here, y'all. Okay. What is this? Okay. What the fuck was that? Just do it again, I guess. Let's go. What a trip. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh my god! What crazy glitched out shit's happening right now? Where are we even going? How far from home are we? Oh, it's not even letting us run in here. This is a big story spot. Left your cloths, anyone? What is this? We've got some sci-fi shit happening now? What the hell's going on? Thank you for the bits, Nate the dog. Trader alert. I'm all about this. Oh, uh, I don't know if I'm all about that. Entities from another world have breached the compound. Commencing elimination. Watch out. Okay. So we gotta do an advance. And then we've gotta do a uh, poison attack in Sarai. Almost. I almost timed it right that time. I, I feel it. Venom Flurry. That's what we need. This is it. Hmm. Guy thinks he's all cool with his claw and gun hands. That mini boss before final boss. Yep, yep. I may as well sunball this douche. Yar, I'm a guard. I don't know why he said yar. All right, standard damage from a normal attack. Okay, we'll swap here. And let's, uh, let's get a lunar shield going, just because we don't know this guy's up to. We'll shield up before his first attack. It's an aimed strike. Not so bad. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see about you doing that move. Fucking bitch. Uh, 
Oh, what are you? Okay. Okay. Okay, what combos do we have available right now? Got Arcane Moons. It only does one hit, though. We only have one point. It's not a lot. Okay, so I think Abeyance is the move. Dick. All right, well, power tackle. Shit. Oh, more suicide uh, enemies. Great. Oh, God, wow. I messed up the timing for that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that they uh, had a shield. Come on, baby. All right, what else do we got? We got Conflagrate. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet. Oh, yeah, we have. That's right. That felt great. That felt absolutely great. Uh, oh, what do we have? Ultimate, Valir's ultimate attack. That's all it says. Okay, well, it hits everybody. Luna's Might Retribution. <laughs> oh, yeah! What? Dude, what a fucking baller-ass way to take out that boss. That shit was huge. They seem so advanced. So advanced. There's nothing like this mentioned in any records. Huh? Hmm. This is where Sarai's from. You're a fucking cyborg! What? Okay, of all the outcomes for Sarai's backstory, this was the not on my radar. Holy shit. Welcome to my world. We desperately need you. Sarai, why didn't you tell us? Wow. I couldn't find the words. Would you have stuck around if you knew? Of course. We'd be nowhere without you. My world fell to the Fleshmancer a very long time ago. It's completely lost. Up above, sky base produces nasty clouds that prevent sunlight from reaching the surface. And the moon? He sank it into the ocean. Do you understand? The moon and the sun disconnected. No more children of the solstice. Will you help? You know we will. Where do we begin? By visiting my home. I have been away for far too long. My people... Are they... Like me? Yes. One by one, we were turned into cyborgs by the wicked catalyst sentient evil machine. Cursed by immortality in this form, my people linger helplessly while the Dweller of Dread slowly feeds on their souls. The Dweller of Dread, that's a new one. Sarai, I'm so sorry. You can help. This is exactly why I left. To find Solstice Warriors. To find you. 
If we can remove the clouds, the moon will shine again. Then the Dweller of Dread would be made vulnerable. We will cleanse your world. I swear it. And I swear it too. Thank you. Getting to Sky Base won't be easy, but a lead might have been found while I was away. Let's make for a pie, my hometown. I want to show you what we are fighting for here. What about the Fleshmancer? His lair lies on a flying piece of land. I have absolutely no idea how to get there. Okay, first things first, let's visit your place. Rapine is on Cerulean Island, east of the exit from here. The derelict factory might pose a challenge, but I suppose we've been through worse. All right, lead the way. Sarai straight up cyborged out. Dang, okay. Is anything like a chest that I wouldn't recognize because it's so futuristic in here? Some advanced technology that seems to be the norm on Sarai's world. Something I can push around with my my fart fist? No? Okay. Dude, this is a really cool turn of events though. Some kind of technology displaying shapes made of light. So cool. This ride must have been like this back ass word world over here. They said go east. Let's see. Oh. Hey, it's a reflection. Oh. That's Cerulean Island. Okay, we're just gonna cruise around and check some stuff out. What's this? Oh, it's the moon. Oh shit. It's literally the moon, okay. It's the moon crashed into the water. Another island that we need a flying ship for. Solstice Shrine Island. Okay. What about this one? The Sacrosanct Spires. Oh. What about this? Speedball Network Station? Fleshmancer's Lair. Fuck. Found a data strip. What? All right, we're not supposed to go here. That means we're going here. Um, or, hear me out, or we'll do nothing because we don't know how to work this technology yet. Like a bus station. Look, there's like a seat there and everything. Huh. Not to be confused with Spaceball. Indeed. All right, so let's just check the northeast corner and then we can... Uh, Hurry up and go to where we're supposed to go. Look, there's like a freaking, what do you call these things? Like those mail tubes, those air mail tubes.
I can't remember the name of it. Help me out, chat. Help me out. Airmail tube things that go like in buildings where you put the, like the bank. You put the thing in the bank and the tube goes up. We just called it tubes. <laughs> Locked, but it looks like the roof is accessible. Techno fire. Yeah, let's rest. I don't think we ate any food. Okay. Get up on the roof, then. Climb, climb, climb on the futuristic roof. Can I just walk on it a bunch? Yeah! The second treasure chest we ever opened. Fucking sashimi recipe. Pneumatic airmail. Yes. Pneumatic. I knew there was a word for it. Fucking synthwave renaissance up in here. Hmm. Some kind of teleporter. Dude, I love it. Okay. Well, so this is happening. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Music is just like a little bit tweaked to be futuristic. Listen to this shit. Ah! attack just get our get our double there it is uh yeah let's do it against you with all the health you there with all the health i'd like to have a word with you with my sunball one how come sometimes i get an extra like aoe hit with rashawn like i'll understand the timing of that maybe i'm just fucking up the timing uh we could mending light or we could solstice strike get that extra mp back Teleport number two.
Uh, treasure, please. Wire plate armor. Okay, plus three and plus four. Let's see about Zale. Plus five, plus one. Can anybody else wear this? Sarai? Fuck, what was it? Okay, plus three, plus four. Four, plus five, plus one. Hey, let's take plus five, plus one. Dude, I am loving the whole ambiance in here. It's fantastic. Jeez, it's 444. Elevator offline, Kyber mesh battery required. Please use laser crane for safe handling. Can you imagine being in Zale and uh, Valir's position? Oh, 100 biddies, dude. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's awesome. An ID is required to operate the crane. Okay, so we need an ID. We need a Kyber mesh battery, and then we need a crane. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Onward and upward. Okay. I mean, I'm here to get in fights, so no problem. I'm fully here for it. Okay, let's swap. We're going to hit the Venom Flurry with Sarai. All the robot sounds. And Moon Ring. You guys thought you could do magic around me? Or techno magic? Science bullshit? By the power of the moon, I will punish your fucking science bitch asses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, green light. Very nice. That'd be weird if I could grapple that, right? That would be weird. It'd be kind of sick. But also weird. Having extra MP is so good for grinding. Because then you can just open up with hits like this and kill one of them, like, right out of the gate. And there you go. Do you think your moon powers might get affected since the moon sunk into the sea? I would think so. Like, I well, at the same time, they haven't, like, that did I miss one of those on the other side? I think I did. Um, they haven't explained that like they derived their powers from the sun and the moon. More that like at least the way I'm interpreting it, they derive their powers from being like godlike. Like reincarnations of Solon and Luana. Um But you certainly can't have the eclipse or like any of the advanced magic powers that you would get from the, the moon. And the sun is just straight up like... Matrixed. Okay. Oh, this is good. Okay, so we get this, and then we'll put in Rashan. 
thunder. Force. Yep. Second D ball for the arcane. Arcane balls. Boom. Broken. Thought I wasn't going to get it, huh? Me too. All right, here we go. Dude, Moonerang is OP against these guys. What do we got for combo? We do arcane moons. We could also just smoke them. Hold up. Oh my god! Sunball. Hopefully vulnerable to Sunball too. Not vulnerable, but it did the jab. I think it the powers powers with the gods, but linked to the sun and moon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kyber mesh battery printer missing components. A blueprint disc, a kyber ore, and a power unit. Wow, this is like the most layered fetch quest you've ever seen. Okay, so we've got the crane operator ID card. We're gonna come back up here once we get the ingredients to build the battery in the first place. All right. That takes us back here. We have the ID card. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. It brings up one of these, uh... Rapazoids? I don't know what... Yeah, instantly green. I just didn't catch that. That's funny. 100% right. Let's go already! Left wall strats. Oh shit. Let's have us. A little mushroom scramble right there. Maybe two. Lunar Shield right out the gate, because I'm not going to be able to do anything about those those locks right there. Mm-hmm. Hex Shield. That was a douche move. Whoa, did I just... Did I just heal him or did I do damage to the shield? I'm going to hope that I did damage to the shield. Yeah, let's swap out. Do something useful here. Phase shift. Shield damage? Yeah. Yeah. It left all strats. I always do left all strats. Damn, dude. Bro's got a lot of... A lot of shield. A lot of shield going on right there. Wow, man. Finally. to strike takedown. Dude, do we have 800 gold yet? 619. Dude, it's so hard to make money in this game. Jesus. We got a button. Power unit dispenser online. Please insert wire plate sheet.
Okay. Now in search of a wire plate sheet. Okay. Ooh. Isn't that nice? Fiber steel daggers. Oh shit, plus 12, plus 12. That's so good. Fiber steel daggers and leaf armor. Hmm. Hope if I leave and come back, these get reset. Yes, they do. Wire plate sheet. Back to the left. Processing complete. Please retrieve completed power unit. Ah. Uh -huh. Or just sigh at me? Okay. Well, get moon ranked. Bitch. I hope we get some kind of artifact that we can equip that lets us start out any fight with like one combo point. Like that would be such a huge advantage to have. Cause dude, it's rough to start with nothing. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, damn, this guy's tough. You only have 21 health left. Yes, you should do it. Ooh, goodies. Found a blueprint disc. And a sashimi. Oh, we didn't look at what sashimi does. Was that three coins? Three coins? Robin the poor. 155 HP, as fresh as food can be. All right, how much does it take? Nine fish. Bro, that's not bad. That's not, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's good stuff, actually. Okay. There's nowhere else I can go, right? Right. This one. Hello. There we go. Well, break it. Break him if you got him. Oh, dude. So annoying. All right, let's disorient this guy. Get out of here. And eat some sun balls. And 
and attack. Because you can take your hex shield and fuck yourself with it. Yeah, moon rank. Get moon ranked. Dude, these shields have an insane amount of health. It's hundreds. Dude, like if these guys appear and throw a shield on the boss, any boss, that's gonna suck. Combo, we got Arcane Barrage. We got X Strike. Sword Son of Venom damage that hits all enemies. This is a single target strike. I love this one. Okay, so you got to time it. I didn't like that the potions disappeared out of the screen at the very top. Not a fan. All right, then Rashawn can take care of the rest. That's a little arcane boost. Hmm. Ooh. Big ass drill. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Yeah, I fucking love the turn that this game's taken. Okay. Hmm, power up. Did you produce a little bit of kyber ore for me there? Or just a door? Kyber door. There it is. Little did we know, kyber ore was intensely radioactive. Dry knew it all along. fast the speed run of this game is like what's the what's the fastest speed run so far hey google what's the world record speed run for sea of stars Seven hours, 30 minutes, and 35 seconds. Hot damn. Hmm. It says any glitches. I don't know what that means. That's fast, though. Processing. Fiber mesh battery completed. Sending to elevator room. Please use laser crane for safe handling. If you are exposed to radiation, your life has its lifespan has decreased by 17 years. Have a nice day. Sir. Plurp. Oh. Elevator online. The elevator is online. And hey, we've gotten what we need. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. 
What kind of crazy ass fish do we have here? That's frog. Oh, it's even like a green uh, wave that we have. You caught a cybernardal, 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 like Quetzalcoatl, Hermite. All right, we'll start picking up fillets again. You're next. Ooh, ooh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Jump, I dare ya, jump, jump, I dare ya. You caught a silicum sponge. All right, how about you? Jump, jump! <laughs> you caught a laser burbot. Uh, I think we caught one of these. I think we've seen one of those big chonkers right there. Oh, I guess not. Coil flounder. Didn't mean to do that. Is that everything? Yep. Got him. spot. Oh, Rapine. We made it! Uh, let's see. We're not immediately greeted with the save station, so let's, uh, let's stop it here. YouTube. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you uh, like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.